This podcast was recorded live in the Purple Room Studio. No, it doesn't make me grow in the pants. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> that uh, is not true. Should we start the show? Ah, sure, why not? What the <laughs> fuck, why not? Hello, everyone. Oh, boy. Welcome to the Stream Void Podcast, episode 164. Holy shit. That's right, 164 episodes in. We're Crazy. How many years? Two, three years now? Something like that. Podcast? Yep. Anyway, you guys want to know who we are. I am Mikey T., and uh-huh. of course, across from me is Curb Stomped. Hello. Uh, you can find us everywhere under our respected monitor. Please do. We do things online all the time. Uh, you more than me now, because I stopped oh, for a little while. Well, I it's mean. It's very hard to concentrate on doing all of the things all of the time. Work you know? and pleasure. Work and pleasure. Two it's, works, it's three works true. and pleasure. Uh, you are listening to Streamboy Podcast. Yes, you, the listener, and I'm not talking to you across from me, Curb Stomped. Yep. Uh, uh, this is a show about life and video games mm-hmm. and... Everything in between. Yes. And we're going to talk about that in between oh, yeah. stuff. The okay. things in between life and right. video games. Yeah, That's yeah. called work. Yeah, oh, yeah. Or work. I f- I'm familiar. <laughs> You're familiar with the uh, with the concept of working hard for a uh, paycheck. I mean... Uh, working medium for a paycheck. I... Yeah. Working I mean, firm for a paycheck. I work at a reasonable pace, I believe. Not too fast. Not too slow. Just right. <laughs> That's what I do. It is what you do. If they want me to work harder, they need to pay me more money, I guess. I don't know. I suppose so. Yeah. Maybe you got to work harder and then they'll pay you more money. No. No, that's not how it nah, works. that's not how it works no. anywhere. <laughs> Has that ever worked for you? Uh, yeah. No. No, you liar. Yes. Where? When? That's why I'm the boss. Yeah, but do you get paid like you're the boss? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Come on. Okay. All right. I don't get paid the most in the company, but okay. I get paid a fair amount. All right. Fine. Okay. Fine. I'll believe you. That's a little different when it's like a family-owned company. Oh, 100%. Where it's like... Oh. You can't... Well, but I work for a family-owned company, too. Yeah, but does the, all the family work at the company, too? Uh, most of them do. Okay. Anyways. Uh, well, there were more before, but now they're not as many, but no, still. Like cleared house? They cleared house a little bit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. Cleared house of family. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Well, do you remember last week I talked about how this guy that I have to deal with kept telling we were talking about the broker for importing stuff and he kept telling me like we haven't used these guys in four years yep that's you sent the wrong one blah blah blah. and i told him no i used the right one you just don't know the whole story Mm -hmm. anyways follow up to that is this week i work the warehouse monday and tuesday i go to the store wednesday and i talk to my good friend over at the store about how like he called me and told me like we don't use this broker we haven't used the broker and i'm just like i don't know what his deal is but he wouldn't listen to me whatever and she's like yeah i don't know what the deal is either but you know i cause she didn't know what was going on the last yeah. she heard was like he's gonna take care of this so she's like yeah i'm kind of a bit you know i should phone him because he never followed up to tell me what's going on with it or whatever so i was like okay whatever So then I'm looking in my emails, because I haven't looked at them since the previous Wednesday, Mm -hmm. and I find one that was from the broker to me and the owner Mm -hmm. and the woman. But apparently I'm the only one that actually, like, because it was, like, the whole chain of emails. Yeah. So I scrolled through the whole thing and read it all. And I get to the very bottom of the email... And it's from the guy to the broker saying like, yeah, we have, we don't use you anymore. We haven't used you for four years. We have another broker. (laughs) So they're, they're clearing our stuff. So yeah, thanks. This was a mistake that this got sent to you or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, Hey, look at this email that I got here. Look at what this says. And she's like, Oh wow. Jeez. Jeez Louise. I feel like I should get ahead of this and call them because (laughs) this could be troublesome. 
And I was like, well, yeah, I guess so. I was like, if it was me, I personally wouldn't. I would maybe talk to the boss and see what he said. Yep. But I I wouldn't do it, right? It's She's above like, your pay grade. Well, it's not a, above my pay grade. It's like... It's above her pay grade. It's not above anybody's pay grade. It's just like, well, she's the one that's going to get have to fix it if anything fucks up. But like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, I did what I was told. Mm-hmm. I sent him the information. I told him what I knew. So whatever happens after this, whatever, right? Yeah. And I was like, anyways, besides, that's a problem for future you. Like, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that today. Yeah. So whatever. I continue working on literally an hour later, she comes out of like, we share, it's like two roomed office yeah. and there's four of us in there, me and her in the one room and the other two in the other room. And she comes out of there and she's like, Oh, did you hear that? And I was like, no, I didn't hear what I don't listen to anything going on around me. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Oh yeah. Like we got a call from one of the companies I order from the States from, and they phoned and said like, Oh Yeah. The broker said they, uh, they, they're they not your broker anymore and they won't clear your stuff. Uh, so who are you clearing this with now? So <laughs> we're like, okay, let's take a look. So anyways, long story short, she called the broker, talked to them back. Or no, first called the guy and was like, hey, they're saying, you know, we don't use these guys. We do use them. Like, did you tell them anything? And he's like, no, I just said we're not using them for this specific order. <laughs> So she's like, well, can you phone over and see what's going on? Because you're the last one to talk to them. And they're telling us that, you know, they're not using us. That we're not using them anymore. So then he calls back and was like, oh, it was something about the GST. Like, we haven't paid our GST in a while. So they're not doing anything. So she's like, okay. Like, first of all, he lied to me about this. So what? Yeah. You know? So then she calls <laughs> down and was like, what's happening? And the woman, you know, let me look into it. And she's like, oh yeah, it looks like your account was closed. We closed your account down because of an email we got from this guy named so-and-so. <laughs> so I was like, wow, that's cool. Cause I have like tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of product coming through the border <laughs> that won't come through now. So anyways, she ended up calling the boss and was the boss was like, he can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> So he's having to try to fix our account problem now. <laughs> oh, man. That's Which, great. And the whole point of the problem was this big order coming through. See, this is the other thing, too. Okay? This could have been avoided if all they had done was phone down and figure out what the problem was initially. Because the initial problem was we're clearing this big order from the States. Yeah. I ordered all these life jackets. And the cl- the clearing fee is like thousands of dollars, whatever. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they do like the they do any of the... like. Um, duties and blah 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 and then we pay them right and they wanted us to pay up front which we don't Mm -hmm. ever really do so the uh, rather than saying like hey phone down there and ask why they're having us pay up front he just said clear it with someone else the (laughs) the owner told the other guy clear it with these other guys we're not paying up front so anyways what it was was whatever it was like two years ago the company was sold to these other guys and now they will only pay up front to a certain dollar value yeah and after that we you have to pay first before that'll clear it it's yeah. nothing else to do with like <laughs> them trying to get back as us for whatever reason <laughs> yeah that's what the owner told me he's like i think they're trying to screw with us because we took our business elsewhere or whatever so if we would have just phoned down we could have figured it out and then there'd be no problem right yeah and because of this then the whole thing Thing got shut down <laughs> so it's like oh my fucking god and then like the other i don't know why he would tell this other guy to deal with it because he's telling me all this stuff like oh we use these other guys because when we order from them they'll clear our like if it's all shoes but it's on 50 different lines on the invoice they'll just say it's shoes and clear it as one item it's yeah. cheaper that way yeah. but that's wrong that's not how they do it they do it the exact opposite they do it line by line, mm-hmm. so it costs more, whereas the one that I dealt with will do it like, oh, they're all shoes, one item. Good to go. So I'm like, this guy doesn't know jack shit. Like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on? He's just screwing everything up. And, like, I mean, he is the owner's buddy. Yeah. So, uh, like, they're friends. Yeah. <laughs> but it's getting to the point where it's like, holy fuck. Because even, like, in the office, the owner's wife does some paperwork there. Mm-hmm. And I went in there after this whole thing down and I just was like, oh my God. He's like, she's like, I'm ready to kill him. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, yeah, he's just acting like he's just screwing shit up all the time. 
and then he won't fix it. And she's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so anyways, that was my work week. I just sort of like was like, that ah, sucks for you. Yeah. So I'm not fixing it, you know. And then on Friday, I was alone in the warehouse. Again, they didn't tell me they were. I was going to be alone on Friday. And they yep. were taking the truck to the other store. So I spent all this time, again, making these big, tall skids. When I could have made <laughs> two shitty skids in, like, one-tenth the time. And it would have been fine. But whatever. Classic. Yeah. It's a classic move. But it was enjoyable. Just messing. Not messing around. But just, you know, being at the warehouse alone. I mean, it's kind of yep, like yep. I'm alone anyways, but. It was just as fine anyways. And that was my work week. That was an amazing work week. I know. That thank sounds you. great. Oh, my God. So good. Can't <laughs> get enough of it. What about you? Uh, work is picking up. We have everyone back to work now. Oh, wow. Really? Well, we'll be on Monday. Mm. It's, it's gone very crazy. Nice. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, just boom, here's the work again. Uh, go crazy. Nice. So I had a very busy week. Nice. I had to... I was, we were talking about last podcast mm-hmm. the uh proposal i did for the mm-hmm. one company yep, for yep, the million yep. dollar project and you had to go down there i had to go down there and take a look yep. have a tour of the site yep and man <laughs> government money is what it is oh yeah but it's uh the work is so easy it's unreal oh really you know, like the amount of work is easy for the amount of dollars is ridiculous uh-huh. and uh like ridiculously good yeah, yeah but the problem is we don't have the equipment and don't have a way to get the equipment that they want us to use oh, and they don't yeah. provide the equipment it's oh. like hey you need to bring all this equipment great i've never heard of this box before i've never heard of this cable before what is this oh, where really? do i get it from really? oh none of our suppliers carry it that's great oh, that sucks yeah it was an interesting walkthrough because we had the uh there were five companies that were shortlisted so we did a walkthrough with the five companies oh, yeah did you feel out of your element no 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 i felt fine okay I felt fine once I, uh, my phone was going to die. So, uh, yeah, you got to go in there and take a bunch of pictures, you know, yeah. like what you're looking at. Because mm-hmm. it's a giant, massive, ancient building that's been renovated 300 times. And just like traveling around, going to the spots, and like, there's no way I'm remembering where the hell we are <laughs> yeah. and where we're going. It was wild. I just meant, what did you feel out of your element where they were like, well, this is where we're going to use that Johnson rod. And you're just like, what the fuck is a Johnson rod? <laughs> it's fairly easy to figure out. Okay. It's all kind of the same style of box or equipment or uh-huh. cable, or whatever. But it's a different, you know, it's standard just, it's or just whatever. different standard, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, uh, they're, they're so not... what, why didn't they have this in their like thing when they were like, we're taking bids. You have to use this equipment. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. And that, that was, we haven't bid on it yet, right? This was, well, you was did a pre bid. I did whatever. a, yeah, a, a request to pre qualify. Yeah, yeah. So we oh, did okay. that. So we didn't have any of the equipment or anything like that. Okay. Any of the lists, any of the prints, nothing. Yeah. We just had to tell the company what, what uh, we've, what done, we've before? done before. Oh, yeah. Okay. And they were like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You can okay. come in. Okay. And it's, it's funny. We didn't see a lot of the other big telecoms out there except for one. Yeah. Like, there's some other huge telecoms out there that uh, I don't, either they didn't put a bid in or we just beat them out. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, I stayed at the uh, the Poco Inn and Suites. The Poco Inn and Suites. What the <laughs> yeah. hell does Poco mean? Uh, Pork, Pork Coquitlam. <laughs> oh, wow. So, is this like a mom and pop restaurant? Uh, no. Well, I think it might be mom and pop, but it's also like super high class. Oh, really? Like granite countertops Ooh. everywhere and everything. Ooh la la. Right? Wow. And the nice the location is very close to our uh, Poco office. Oh, so yeah. that's like five minute drive, even in traffic. Did you go to it? It's great. The office? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I went to the office as soon as I got to to uh, Vancouver. Oh, yeah. And do they all shape up when you show up or what? No. 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 They don't give a fuck? They're like, who's this clown? <laughs> no. Well, they know me because I work with all the office yeah. people there. I don't I don't know any of the, the line crews or any oh, of yeah. like the grunt workers. Oh, uh, the plebs? <laughs> the plebs, yeah. Yeah, okay. The it is so warm and moist in that office. I oh was yeah. Like, oh God, how does anybody work in here? Well, I, <laughs> I understand the the moistness of it, but like the warmness, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They had it just cranked. Oh yeah. But yeah. Everyone is also like, there's this one room, and everyone's kind of in it, except for the the uh, general manager. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, how do you guys work like this? You're all so loud. And oh yeah. As soon as anyone talks, I'm just like, huh? Maybe you are artistic. <laughs> artistic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You need your noise canceling headphones when you're on public. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you are autistic. <laughs> I need to. I need to not have so many distractions because I'm always extremely busy. Yeah. Because I get requests from everyone in the company. Yeah. 
to do things. And you can't so, just ignore them? Well, like, sometimes the people just come into my office and be like, hey, man, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> god damn it, you're ruining my workflow. <laughs> That's why you need, like, a sign on your door. Do not enter. Yeah, have a red light on. <laughs> Recording in progress. Recording in progress. Working in progress. Exactly. I got my headphones on so I can tune out most of it anyway. Uh, Yeah, your noise canceling headphones. Uh, Technically, they're open back. They're these ones right here. They're the HD 650s. What happened to your head vibrating ones? Uh, Those are. I still use those. Okay. But only for housework. Oh, okay. Because then I can hear everything around me, but still listen to music. Okay. Yes. Uh, It was snowing like mad going over the Coke. Oh, yeah, I bet. I was quite surprised. And the Coke is what? The Coca-Cola. Uh-huh. The highway number five through the uh, mountains. Of British Columbia. Of British Columbia to go okay. from Vancouver to Kamloops. There you go. be split. Beautiful. Cuts about an hour off of your trip. Yep. Unless it's like super dumping snow and then it adds an hour on your Hi- trip. Highway through hell, they call it? They, they do call it a highway through hell. Yeah. Even the number one has been called the highway through hell as well. Yeah. Because I've, I've, a couple of years ago, I went through there. I but it's not because of it. all the kidnapped indigenous women that have been no, murdered that's the along? the Highway of Tears. Oh, that's the Highway of Tears. That's the Highway of Tears. Right, right, right. right. And the, uh, yeah, we were going through a couple of years ago, and the Highway Through Hell crew was actually on-site filming oh, one crazy. of the crashes that we were stuck by. You should have got on the show. Just crashed into a truck right there <laughs> or something like that. Just I'm going to be famous! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a, it was it was a pretty nice trip. Nice, only down there for the night. Where'd you eat dinner? Uh, I went out with actually a couple of the Splice Boys mm-hmm. from Kuvo. Okay, Kuvo Splicing, mm-hmm. and we went to a Fa restaurant. Oh, nice! I cannot remember what it was called, but it was very close. It was good. Yeah, nice. It was pretty good. Yeah. Apparently, uh, one of the boys lives like five minutes away from the Poco Inn and Suites. So, oh yeah, <laughs> nice. they picked me up. We went, and I was like, oh, this is great. Nice. This is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was... Uh, was that my work? I guess so. That was my work. Cool. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. I was hoping... We were really hoping we are going to hear something about our loan for the Game Hub. Oh, yeah. You still week. haven't heard about still it. Still haven't heard anything. On Monday, it'll be two weeks since we submitted, so hopefully next week we'll hey, hear something. forget about us there, guy. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> well, they pinged my credit last week. Oh, that's Not right. last week, but the week before. That's right. Like a couple days after we submitted, so... It's, uh, they're looking at it. They're looking at it good. Thinking hard about it. They are thinking hard. Yep. I gave the Jeep the old detailing as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> two days to detail the Jeep. Good Lord. Well, you know, I worked on it maybe like an hour one day and two hours the next day. Oh, okay. And it looks very... two days, that in my head, instantly <laughs> says 16 hours. 16 hours of work. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> okay. But now it looks fresh and new again. It's very good. For a week anyways. Yeah, for a week. Something like that. <laughs> then you'll drive through a mud puddle. No, oh, I detailed the whole inside. Oh, the Leather inside. conditioned and ooh, everything. Ooh la la. Mm-hmm. You got to. Tray bien. <laughs> yeah, it looks and smells brand new again. Oh. That smell of new leather. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Love it. Very good. Uh, well, I did stream some video games on Friday? Yes, Saturday? I did. Uh, One of the two? Friday. 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 Uh, final season two dropped. Yes. Which is great. They added a new map. They, oh, wow. They put on three new guns. Oh, wow. Custom game modes. Oh, wow. And a whole new uh, a whole new 5v5 game mode. Ooh. A, a push, a, not push the cart, but ride the platform game mode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of fun, mm-hmm. but it's really hard to route the other team off of the platform. Once one team gets it, it's very hard to get them off of it. Requires teamwork, I it bet. It requires teamwork. Yeah. But you can actually like five stack it too, which is cool. What do you mean? So you can have bring five people into your party, so you can go in at the same oh, time I with see five what you're people. Saying. Okay. Whereas you know when you're playing, uh, when they have those Apex limited time events where they have like a six man, mm-hmm. you have to have it's a team of three and a team of three put together, so you can't have a full six stack. Boo! I know it's kind of lame. Actually, I think that's how it worked last time I played. I don't know if they've man- they've changed that or or what. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they did a lot of changes to the finals. They've really rebalanced the entire thing. Uh, they've made a lot of changes to the heavy meta. So now you don't actually see that many heavies in the game, which was pretty crazy to see. They changed the Lewis gun so that the recoil is a lot more random. And man, I was, I was playing heavy the other night, and it was very hard to control that gun. Oh, yeah. It's very hard to hit headshots. 
So is it actually random, or does it is it like Apex, where it has an exact same recoil pattern? So it's before I, I didn't test the recoil pattern, but I know before when I was testing recoil patterns that it is kind of like Apex, where you know it just uh-huh. has a predictable recoil pattern. Yeah. But they did say they randomized it a little bit with the Lewis gun. Oh, yeah. So I'm I'm curious as to what it'll be like. I, I should go back in there into the shooting range and test and see. See if the recoil pattern's all crazy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, all new skins, all new everything. I was like, mm. oh my god, everything looks so cool. But they still have terrible character design. According to you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, according to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're that terrible, but hey. Maybe it's just the ones I've seen. Could be. Because they've been all atrocious. <laughs> I make my people look atrocious, I guess. That's probably why I think they're bad, because I just see your characters yeah. <laughs> looking atrocious all the time. I want to look as stupid as possible. Well, I t- I'll tell you what. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. Yeah. Uh, and Saturday played some shooty shooty bugs versus robots game. Uh, Helldivers 2. Why do you stream this? I don't know. Okay. You played it for like eight freaking hours. Uh, no, I only played it for like two. Okay. Played with uh, the Keeper. Mm-hmm. And one of the mosh mm-hmm. and uh, Doug Junior, Douglas Junior, Douglas Junior. Yep, uh, it was a good time. They yes. added mechs to the game. Yes, I know. Which uh, we didn't get any. Oh, <laughs> you got to be level twenty five to unlock it. Sad. So I think only mosh is level twenty five oh and higher. My God, all of us, all the rest of us. No are like life in it over there. Oh yeah, that's that's the only game he plays right now, except for you know when he's recording Ludo Lads and guitar, 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 whatever. and then Hell Divers. What's that guitar game? Rocksmith. Rocksmith. Yeah. I made him play all these wackadoo songs that he couldn't play. <laughs> you know, screen. I saw. <laughs> like Tool and Primus. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, Tool and Primus have some uh, some very intense bass lines. Yeah. Especially Primus. I introduced him to some new music that he's never heard. So nice. That's cool. That like is the cool. The chats from Australia. Yeah. They're hilarious. <laughs> Hilariously good. I don't think I've ever heard them. Ah, they're like I, I Aussie think punk you were. Rock. I think you were in the midst of requesting a song mm-hmm. uh, by them when I was when I was loading into a raid. Oh uh, yeah, he played like four of them. So nice. Like they have a song. It's called Pub Feed, and it's about them wanting to go eat food at a pub. Oh yeah. And then they have Identity Theft. It's just a song about his their identity being stolen. <laughs> and they have a song called The Clap about the guy getting the clap. <laughs> And uh, they have one called Smoko, which is about going on a smoke break. Because in Australia, everything gets shortened with an O at the end. Yeah. That, so that's Smoko the one, that is a smoke break. That's the one you were requesting when I was Smoko. watching. Smoko. Yeah. <laughs> so, pretty good. Very good. Yeah. I also played Tarkov. Next. <laughs> <laughs> How was Tarkov? Uh, it's, it's Tarkov. I love that game, but I also... When you see people who have the Edge of Darkness edition, and then you compare it to yours, you're like, wow, these people paid just for just the fast, easy mode. Yeah. It's just easy mode. Pay to win. I, I suppose. Yeah. You get, it's, it, <laughs> you get your Omega case, which is your butt pay case, so you have a, a nine-slot butt case, whereas when you start, you only have a four-slot butt case. And that case is a case you take into the raid, and everything inside of it, you get to keep. Yeah. So, so you don't, like, you don't lose stick it. Stick this AK forty seven in here that I really don't want to lose. Could you even fit one of those in there? You might be able to, mm-hmm. but and and even like the stash, like watching my buddy play uh, DJ Flex ninety nine, he's got that just the biggest stash ever, and I'm like, how do you even? F- I I can fit two guns in my stash, and you've got like all these guns, and his yeah. backpacks are all like not stacked into each other, and he still has tons of space. I'm like, holy crap! Yeah. I gotta, I gotta like, every time I get an insurance return, I gotta sell so much stuff just so I can get that stuff back into my inventory before I lose it. How much does this extra edition cost? Yeah, it's like 120 bucks. Oh my god, that's you insane. You actually, you can't get that edition anymore. That was supposed to be a limited time edition. Oh yeah. <laughs> are they selling slot spaces? They are DLC? selling slot spaces, yeah. I can't believe it. They, uh, yeah, they, they were adamant they weren't gonna do microtransactions. Yeah, so they made the macro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not micro, they're big. And and because Edge of Darkness was supposed to be a limited edition stuff that came with all the DLC, they finally removed that from the story so you can't get it anymore. Oh, and then yeah. they added, like, you can add one line of bank space for, like, four bucks. That's still pretty micro. It's, it's a lot for not a lot, you know? It's a lot of money for not a lot of space. 
I don't know if one there's a finite amount you can buy. There is. Yeah, I there? think it's like 20. 20 slots or 20 rows? 20 rows. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised they would stop. Yeah. If someone I wants mean, to buy 1,000 rows, okay, four grand. Let's <laughs> games, go. Yeah. Games been in development for so long mm-hmm. that they're not getting any... I guess they're having problems attracting new blood to pre-order. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> you right. Maybe put it on Steam, dipshits. That, that, that's that been a big discussion. It's like, well, get it on Steam. And they're like, we, we're going to get it on Steam, but not until it goes 1.0. Why? I don't know. Uh, they they did do explain they, it, but I can't remember why. Early access? Like, they explained it that they're stupid. Oh, it's because they're Russian and they probably can't. It's illegal. No, they they could. I, oh, I think it's because they, they don't want that 30% cut being taken right off the start. For like when they're doing their like so increase stuff. the cost by thirty <laughs> percent, you fuckers! Oh my god! Yeah, they could probably do that. It'd probably be a sell pretty it by simple. the Tarkov website for thirty nine and sell it on Steam for fifty nine. Problem fucking solved. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I wonder how much the player base would go up if they did put it on Steam. Probably ten a bit. times as much. Probably a bit. Yeah. So stupid. I don't like money. <laughs> I don't want him to take 30%. Ugh. How fucking stupid can you be? I don't know. Oh, my God. Put know. it on Epic, then. Yeah, right? What the fuck is wrong with these guys? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, right? They could I'm just offended, put it on Epic. And I don't even like this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, every time I die in that game now, into mm-hmm. a PMC, it's always like level 50. Level 50 PMC Chad running around killing oh, yeah. me. I'm like, ah, damn it. And apparently the cheating is it's up there right now. Rampant. Rampant cheating. Yeah. I, I did talk about it where the guy was just like, I am cheating. I'm cheating. <laughs> they would they will announce that you they are cheating. Why? I don't know. So you don't fight them. So but like don't they want to kill you? I don't know. Okay. Like maybe they're just cheating because they don't want to kill you, but they don't want to get killed by scabs. I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. It's so weird. You should start saying it. People run away from you. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating. I'm a cheater. I'm a cheater. Yeah. But then that's how you get reported. Because you say I'm a cheater? Yeah, with my 1.79 KD. <laughs> yeah. Like they would be, a, like they'd just look at your stats and be like, nah, this guy is not cheating. <laughs> not cheating at all. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, still loving that game, but that's so stressful. I guess that's why I like it. Because it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, you like to challenge yourself. Yes. Yes. Which is fine, I guess. And then, of course, I played... I think I played uh, Death Stranding every day this week. So you're into it. Literally every day. And you're into it. And I'll tell you why later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember when before Death Stranding came out, you were like, I'm going to just play this game all the time. I'm going to love it. I'm going to play it nonstop. It's going to be great. And then it came out, and it, you never even looked at it again. Yeah, right? <laughs> but before it came out, you were like, I'm into it. Yes. But now... I'm into it. You're into I, it. We push. I push past that spot. Yeah. There's that, just that one spot. Mm-hmm. And we went past. I push past it. And now I'm like, oh, God. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I played Vintage Story. It's a Minecraft-like game. Yes. And uh, I played it a bunch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just worked on my area. It's like slow progression in it, you know? You can't really speed run it. I mean, I guess you, you sure could, can't. but there's so many, like, you know, roadblocks in your way to slow it down. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I need to find copper. Oh, I don't have enough food. Oh, <laughs> I don't have any wood. Uh, My shoes are broken. Uh, no, yeah, that's... that can happen, but it yeah. doesn't really matter No, too no, much. that's more Death Stranding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I played that. Recorded all the footage. I'm trying to figure out a way to do it into a YouTube video series, but I don't know if it's possible the way I've recorded, so we'll see. You probably just have to do the thing where you record when you're going to talk about things. Yeah. And that's it. Just hit record, talk about things, stop recording. Yeah, maybe. And then you can just stitch all those together. Yeah, I might have to do something like that. Or if you're, sure. you're going to go, maybe you preset something up. So like if you see... You find a bunch of copper. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just like be like, okay, well, well back it up, hit record. That's why copper. I record is because then it'll be like, ooh, I found this, and it's like genuine, not like, hey, I found this. <laughs> Anyways, um, and that might it might just make it easier because then you yeah. don't have to scrub through you know hours and yeah, hours yeah. of footage. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll try different things. Anyways, and last night I played 
Infinite Wealth. Yes. Yakuza Infinite Wealth. And uh, I did some Don Doku Island. <laughs> I beat some guys up and had some bums move in. Nice. Well, they don't move in. They're on vacation. <laughs> but You got some bums on vacation on well, your island? like... Of They're course, not... <laughs> they are. They were literally bums. Yeah, <laughs> you have to like. You're like the island was like a dump, and I I worked it up enough that people were interested to coming visit, but yeah. it was only like good enough for like bums to visit, right? I think you would call them hobos. No, I call them bums. Yeah, and, they don't have uh, their hobo stick traveling from island no. to island. No, they come from the main island of Hawaii to Dondoku Island for a three day vacation, get away from the harsh <laughs> Hawaiian <laughs> summer. Yes, to Dondoku Island. But I only had a tent. <laughs> so it was like, oh, you can invite three people to the island. So I was like, oh, three separate tents? No, one tent. One I tent, made three, three strangers stay to tent together. <laughs> and they have all like um, things they want to see when they're on the island. So it'll be like, I want uh, an island that has like is an E-class island. So like the worst type of resort yep. you can have. Um, and they have all these things. And then they'll be like, I want to see something slightly rustic when I'm here. So then it'll be like, you can build like decorations that are rustic. So it'll be like, oh, there's an old like wooden well. That's rustic. So you build one of those and they'll be like, oh, I love this well. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so but rustic. The one bum was like, I want I want five things that are sleazy on the <laughs> island. So I built like two maid um, mannequins that are, mannequins that are wearing maid outfits. <laughs> What? I made I made I made a beer keg and like a a mahjong table and I just set, set them outside and he's like whoa I love this mannequin <laughs> <laughs> so and then you have to give him a gift every day like a souvenir so you can make souvenirs or give them stuff you found mm-hmm. and the first day I couldn't make souvenirs so I gave him a shell that I had <laughs> and the second day this kid moved in and he can make souvenirs you have to like research them first. So I can make like a can of sardines <laughs> and a bottle of sake. So the, I'm like, these bums obviously want sake. So I just gave them all sake. And they're like, whoa, thanks for the sake. <laughs> and then they leave the island and they give me all these Dondoku bucks. And, you know, Ooh, Dondoku bucks. It keeps on going. Yes. So it's pretty good. Very nice. And then after that, I just went to the main island and, you know, ran around like doing side missions and finding horny little, side missions uh well there was i talked to the guy that was a, a yakuza boss who liked to wear a diaper oh yeah so diaper bob he was it's gondawara actually <laughs> uh, and he likes to wear a diaper he was a he was a pound mate from the first game which is the summons and in infinite wealth yep i haven't unlocked him as a pound mate yet but i'm assuming pound i will <laughs> i don't think there was any horny side missions really oh, that i did that's too bad but there's still something I haven't unlocked in the menu. Like, there's some side content because there's oh. another little logo. And also, on Do- Don Doku Island, there's like a, a thing where I can send Sujimon to the island somehow, but mm-hmm. I haven't unlocked that yet either. So, trying to figure out what's going on. Also, there's also other jobs I haven't unlocked yet because I can apparently be the jobs from the last game because I found the weapons for them, <laughs> but I don't have the chef job and stuff unlocked. Yeah. So, still lots of stuff to do. I didn't even do a single story mission last night. It was just all side <laughs> stuff. There's just so much to do. Nice. Every time I run around a corner, it's like, oh, fuck, there's something else to do here. So, yeah, I'm liking it a lot. Very good. I don't think... Oh, and besides Death Stranding. Of course. I don't think I played anything else. I've been logging into Elder Scrolls Online to get the daily reward. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Because this month they gave away a free DLC if you logged in, so... Oh. I've been doing that. Nice. And I think that's it, game wise. Nice. They added uh, they added daily quests to Tarkov. Oh, really? Yeah. You get three daily quests. Well, they're not quests on Elder Scrolls. They're just a little thing you log in daily. And yeah. Get, and then you log out immediately. I guess they're not quests either. They're tasks. Oh yeah. Which is <laughs> like what? Uh, sell so, a backpack. No. Sometimes it's go out here and find crackers and croutons. Oh, yeah. mm, <laughs> yum! <laughs> or go here and kill a bunch of scavs. Nice. Yeah, some of the some of the tasks they have you do are absolutely ridiculous. I'm like I'm on some main ones for Jaeger and he's like your survivalist expert mm-hmm. kind of guy. And his task is I got two tasks. One was I probably talked about this one the last time was kill five scavs without armor. Oh yeah, in the leg or whatever. Yeah, and then it's like yeah, hit killed three scavs 
in by shooting them in the legs on woods at 40 meters yeah yeah <laughs> so stupid yeah it's it's crazy i got i got one of them where it's killed in the head 40 meters kill yeah. a scav shooting in the head in 40 meters i got that one of those yeah last night but yeah and then i got killed by a level 40 pmc no oh. all the time every time sad yes very sad <laughs> that's too bad um i didn't watch anything this week except american dad we started uh, Invincible Season 2, yeah, Part yeah. 2. Nice. And it was all about Adam Eve, mm -hmm. and how she was created in the lab, mm -hmm. and how she works. Yeah, there's a free game of her, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah. That was a, that was a banana sandwich story, the, the first episode. Mm -hmm. It was very brutal. Yeah. <laughs> People just mucking and not mucking, but turning into ichor, mm -hmm. and just evaporating. Hate when that happens. Turning into goo. Hate when that happens. Yeah. Lots of blood. Nice. <laughs> it's crazy. Nice. That nice. whole show is just bananas, invincible. I've seen the first episode. Yeah? Yeah. Where he kills the Justice League. Oh, yeah. I mean, the whatever league they're called <laughs> yeah. in that show. They're all ripoffs of the Earth the Justice Planet League. Defenders. Yeah. They're all Justice League characters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They are, definitely. Oh, they literally are. Yeah. Like, oh, that guy's Mar Martian Manhunter. <laughs> I can't remember what the hell the Batman guy's name is. Night Hunter or something? Yeah, it was know. something like that. It was, yeah, anyways. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Robert yep. Kirkman, creator of The Walking Dead. That's his thing. I did watch the latest Nile Red video. Oh. It's like an hour long. Wow. And he what turns do do styrofoam one? into uh, cinnamon flavor. Why would you do that? Because it's he, he thought he might be able to because the molecules are very similar. Polystyrene to... Uh, uh, the cinnamaldehyde is what it's called. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. He got, uh, when you take styrofoam and then you stick it in a solvent, it just turns into goo. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, God, that looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> he used acetone, just like a big vat of acetone just started sinking them in and they would just dissolve instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was pretty gross. And then a bunch of, like, uh, so many steps just to turn it into styrene and then add the... Uh, the oxygen and the hydrogen molecules to it. It was wild. He must have a lot of, like, chemical waste at his place. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> and then he bought a, uh, he bought a, a candy press and had the, so he could make the candy cinnamon hearts. Oh, yeah. He spent, like, $6,000 on a, on a candy roller with custom reels to do cinnamon hearts. That seems like a waste of money. <laughs> For <laughs> like one little... Be. One little uh, video, and that it took him months to do the video too. Yeah, just all the all the things he had to do to get that so that he could actually eat it without it killing him instantly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And I mean, he does. He's done other ones where he's turned uh, nitrile gloves into grape soda. Gross. Or or was it nitrile gloves into hot sauce, and then something else into grape soda? It's crazy. That's weird. Um, do you remember I asked you a while ago if that was... I heard Nile Red on the Patreon for the Tiger Belly podcast? Yeah. That is him. Yeah. Because the, in one of the videos, he has like his whiteboard. There's a drawing of Bobby Lee on it that says Slept King. <laughs> so that's one of his nicknames is Slept King. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it was him on the Patreon. <laughs> that's good. Pretty interesting. Yes. Uh, I've only ever seen clips of him on TikTok. Yeah, he does. Uh, he does a lot of clips on TikTok. Is I'm sure there's a lot of stuff account. on Snapchat. I'm sure it wasn't his account. He's... Everything on TikTok is stolen. So yeah, oh, hundred percent. Yeah, but his Snapchat. If you go on there, you yeah. can just scroll through just tons of snaps of him doing crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. stupid stuff. He likes to smash things. Who all doesn't? the time. Who doesn't? I don't know. Yeah, I guess everyone does. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So he must be making a lot of money. Yeah, I would imagine so. Since he has his own lab. Yeah. I don't know because he's Canadian. Yeah, but I don't know if his if he's in Canada now or if he's down in America, living in America. I would think where his lab he's is. probably in America. If I had to guess, because he does really hook up trying to do the YouTube thing. Yeah, I would. Yeah, probably. But he does do some filming in Canada. Like some of his videos are. Oh, I'm sure he's jet setting around. He's probably oh, enough probably. money because <laughs> he does hang out with uh, William Osman and and that crew. I sure the open sauce crew we'll call oh, it the yeah. open sauce crew sure never heard of him god I would love to go to open sauce that'd be so cool let's set it up what's his name William uh, <laughs> William Osborne? Osman oh Osman Osman yeah yeah hit up Mikey T33 on um, 
Telegram. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, I, I subscribe to the to the uh, uh, open source YouTube channel oh, yeah. and just looking, watching all the panels that happened in open source. I'm like, oh god, that would be so cool. What to is open source? It, open source is William's event that he just threw last year. Is like the first ever open source where it's just. Ye, it's just a bunch of makers making stupid stuff and then having panels and YouTubers and everything talk about it. Okay. But it went off so well, and he wasn't expecting it to go off as well as it did. Uh, they, they had everyone there. Like, all the maker YouTubers were there. Like, uh, Colin Furs was there. Of course. Uh, Adam Savage was there. And Mark Rober. A Mythbuster? Yeah. Yeah, yeah everyone was there. I was like, oh, Mark man, this would be so cool to go to. I know Mark Rober. Yeah. And I know Adam Savage. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like it when Mark Rober, like, tased um, I Show Speed or something like that. That was pretty yeah. funny. He did something to him. I can't remember what it was. Or he hit him in the head. I can't even remember. <laughs> and Mendy was there, too? Of course. Electro Boom? Yep. Has to be invited. Yes. To shock she everyone. has to be invited? He. Oh, he. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. He has to be invited? He has to be invited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he just shows up with a magic wand and shocks people oh yeah of course <laughs> that's a good way to go to prison <laughs> uh, yeah he, he electrocutes a lot of people I like it when him and Linus team up and do a oh, show oh he shocks Linus no, he I'd shocks like Linus all the time <laughs> I'd like to see that video it's hilarious whenever he does it <laughs> Linus just seems like a clown to me <laughs> yeah having it, they're having another event this year and I'm like oh man that'd be so cool you gotta go this is in California it's a long ways you fly they got planes nowadays Pizza's got a spare room right yeah, they got pl- not for much longer. <laughs> they got planes yeah, they nowadays, do. you know. That's expensive. And I got a store. You're to run. the big boss of your job, and your I am the big boss store, and your and the owner detailing business, and the owner got the money. I don't got the money. Stop pussyfooting around. <laughs> Come on, can you give I don't me a got grant? The money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool to go to. That's that's the dream. Treat yourself, bitch. I, I will treat myself as, at some point. No, It'll you be won't. Good. You fucking liar. <sighs> Yeah. You're such I a am. liar. What a dirty liar. <laughs> I am. Yep. Yeah, can I write it off as a business expense going down there to... Uh, for the Purple Room Studios. For the PRS? Yeah. yeah. Operating at a 100% loss every year. <laughs> 100% loss every year. Can't claim anything. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this studio does operate at 100% loss. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, excuse me. I got some burps. Just burp into the microphone. No, thank you. Stop fucking around No, thank here. you. Then I have to cut it out. You don't cut out my burps. Come on. <laughs> I don't cut out anyone's burps. I, I mean, you don't burp unless it's the pre-show anyway. Or right at the end. Or right at the end. It's yeah. always at the end. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I might be brewing up something special today. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> little special post-show burp. Who said anything about burp? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can get pink eye if you fart in that microphone. Hasn't happened yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pink eye or the farting in the microphone? I don't know. Does Amaranth fart in the microphone? Does she have pink eye? I don't know. Does Amaranth do any ASMR farts? I don't think so. I don't, I, well, she does because she was selling fart in a jar. No, she wasn't. Was yeah, she? Yeah, she did fart in a jar. Oh, God. Pink eye in a jar. She's too classy to do it on stream, though. <laughs> you know they just didn't fart in a jar, of course. No, of course not. Or maybe she bought fart spray and did a spritz into it. Yeah, probably a little yeah. putrefactant. Yeah. That's what it's called. Is it really? Yep. Wow, the more you know. <laughs> military grade putrefactant. Oh, God, no, not military grade. <laughs> That's what Mark Rober used in his... Uh, oh, his... Uh, in his glitter bomb. Package theft things, yeah. Did you... Well, you probably didn't watch the one with Macaulay Culkin in it, did you? Uh, I think I saw the start of it, maybe, <laughs> but... Because they, they go outside to test the putrefactant, and Macaulay Culkin's just like, and then just instantly, he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> Why would he do it with Macaulay Culkin? <laughs> I don't know. It's very weird. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Macaulay Culkin's been on Like, was stuff. Polly Shore busy that weekend, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Macaulay Culkin's been in some, some YouTube stuff recently. Right. He was on uh, Angry Video Game Nerd. Really? Yeah. How far he's fallen. <laughs> oh, I my mean, God. He's, he's at the point where he just does what he wants. Remember when he was home alone? Yes. Yeah. Now he's with the angry video game nerd. He's with AVGN. He's with Mark Rober. He's just chilling. Well, Mark Rober is a little different than the angry video game nerd. 
James Rolfe? Yeah. How many views do his videos get now? 20,000? <laughs> yeah, it's not, you know, it's not as good. You can, you can tell when the company, which writers are doing which episodes. Because yeah. I've seen some episodes like, this is not angry video game nerd. This is garbage. Yeah. And then other episodes, it's like, okay, this is, this is back to form. Okay. I'm not a, a huge enjoyer of the angry anything on YouTube. No? No. Uh, yeah, I haven't really watched him lately. Like Some episodes come yeah. up where I want to see what the game's like, and mm-hmm. then I'm just like, eh, it's okay. I saw a great, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, why can't I think of the word? Like a parody of the angry YouTube channels where it was the angry park reviewer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. Just angry reviewing parks. Yeah, and he just was like, look at this tree. Oh, they fucked this tree up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why would they do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> love it. Yep. Uh, you know what else I love? No. Patreon.com oh. forward slash Stream Boy Pod. Wow. That's right. You can get in there. You can support this podcast with your hard-earned dollar dues for as little a, as a dollar a month. You get access to the pre-show content, the post-show content, our bonus Patreon-exclusive videos where we tend mm-hmm. to just eat things. And then react. Shamrock Shake is back. Shamrock <laughs> Shake is back. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the only way you can support this pod- earned podcast. And we do we do thank all of our Patreons out there for supporting yes, us. Yes, I love you all. We love you all. If I see you in person, I'll give you an HJ. <laughs> a high jab? A high jab right to the <laughs> left eye. <laughs> well, you will see one at will some I? point. Yes. When? Uh, I don't know. If he comes over for movie stream? Who? Mona the Mosh? Oh, I've seen him before. Yeah. Yeah. Did you give him a high jab? Uh, I gave him a LJ, low jab, <laughs> right in LJ. the butthole with oh, penis. Oh, oh. <laughs> a little brown star punching action. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash stream void pod. See that brown star punching action. Yeah, it's like uh, a it's Patreon, uh, you know, bonus. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you know. He loved it. He couldn't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh... Let's talk about some news, shall we? Uh, nah. No? Not today. Okay. Uh, we go straight to Game Club then? <laughs> yeah, let's switch it up. <laughs> well, it's just so f- little news. Should we make some fake news? Let's, uh, we could make some fake news. Okay. Let's think. Let's think. What kind of fake video game news can we make up right now? Uh. Switch 2 was announced yesterday. Yeah. 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 It's, uh. Backwards compatible. Fully, P- fully backwards compatible PS2, all the way to the NES. PS2 games. <laughs> <laughs> fully Pretty backwards crazy. compatible to the NES. It's got it's, five ports. It's portable. It. It's Extremely got a DVD portable. Drive. We're very weird. <laughs> it was extremely weird. Do you remember? Like you'd have to have the um, like ash anti shock in your CD player. Oh yeah. Imagine yeah. the shocks. <laughs> they'd have to have it a portable <laughs> DVD player. I mean, I guess the PSP was disc based, so I guess it's possible. Yeah, that was a different style of disc. Well, it was just a disc in a cartridge. Yeah. It was just a laser-based My disc. first CD player mm-hmm. had no anti-shock. And it was oh, a portable you couldn't CD even player. touch it, dude. No, you couldn't touch it. You had yeah. to just sit there and leave it. Yeah. Took four AA batteries. Yeah. Those were done in an hour. That was, that was so crazy back <laughs> in the day. Well, yeah, early laser, dude. Yeah. So expensive in energy. So I'm not surprised. I had a CD player that was not like a Sony like disc man but it was like a, some some brand and it had a little bit of anti-shock protection yeah. so it worked but i remember walking around with that thing in my pocket like it's huge uh, yeah it's in my pocket yeah i just listen to that garbage cd over and over <laughs> <laughs> yeah when i uh when i upgraded to a actual nice disc man that had anti-shock it had like 60 seconds of anti-shock you just test it out too you'd be shaking it like well, look well because i would take it I, I was uh, rollerblading a lot back oh, yeah, in the day, yeah. right? So I went from my tape deck to the CD, the Walkman, or the CD-man. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it, it worked really well. Discman, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. If it was Sony, yeah. Yeah, Discman. yeah, it was a Sony. Yeah. And it worked really well for that was kind it yellow? of thing. No, it was white. Uh, okay. It was white. Yeah, I had a uh, a Walkman for quite some time, making mixtapes. Oh, skating with mixtapes. Dude, oh But I'd God. have a, I'd wear a hoodie. So that I could have that front pocket to put it in. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it wouldn't stay in there sometimes. It'd just go clattering out all yeah, over the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batteries, battery, tape everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn it. And you just pick it up, put the batteries back in it, yeah. put the tape back I in it, hit I, play and keep going. I wish I had my mixtapes still. I don't have any of mine. 
Be interesting to see what I made back in the day. I uh, I have a whole stack of them over, oh, really? over over in the other room there of my mixtapes. I'm just trying to think. Like I know that I had like my buddy had his mom had a crazy stereo system, which whatever back then, it was a six CD changer. Yep. So it was just like, oh my god, like what are we gonna do for making a cassette tape here today? And, uh, oh yeah, I remember listening to the Judgment Night soundtrack a lot. I don't know <laughs> yeah. if you're familiar with the movie Judgment Nights. It was no. like all sorts of early rock rap, because it would be like, we're going to make a song. It's like Sir Mix-a-Lot with Mud Honey. And then it would be like the rock music with Sir Mix-a-Lot rapping over it. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I listened to that so much, I can't listen to it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, I just, Judgment Night was Onyx and uh, Pantera or something like oh, that. Oh, nice. Yeah. It was good, but like, fuck! I heard it so many times, dude. <laughs> oh my god! I uh... Guns and Roses, Usual Illusion, one and two. Yep. Yeah, this is good. Yep. I pulled, I pulled the the uh, soundtrack for the original Krusty Demons of Dirt. What the fuck is that? Off of the VHS to put it on tape. What is the Krusty Demons? Krusty of Demons of Dirt? of Dirt is a dirt biking series <laughs> where they just do crazy stunts. Okay. But the soundtrack to the first one, I absolutely loved so much. So how, the, what so What was it, just the sound of, like, dirt bikes revving with music? No, no, well, no, it was just, like, the, the music they used to show off the stunts, right? Yeah. But they would overlay it, so there was no dirt bike sound? Yeah, there's no dirt bike sounds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I, when we were uh, in the library at our school, we had a, uh, a video editing station. Mm -hmm. So I would use the video editing station and just hook it up to a tape player and just <laughs> oh rip the God. rip the soundtrack right off that's crazy and i listened to that so much crusty what was it the crusty demons of dirt crusty demons of dirt yeah i'm pretty sure i have a playlist in my spotify that is that soundtrack. what kind of music is it it's like rap and and uh punk and rock and or heavy like metal actual like real not that any music's fake but i mean like would been like oh this is a real commercial released Product? Uh, maybe. There's sensor, gutter mouth, strung out. Okay, okay. Blue gun. Okay, I've heard uh, of gutter mouth. So. Yeah, bloodhound gang. <laughs> I've heard of the bloodhound gang. I do not like the bloodhound gang, but I've heard of them. I don't like bloodhound gang either. Uh, Rob Zombie, of course. Oh, so Dragula was Power on the Man soundtrack. Five Thousand. Pa oh, that's Rob Zombie's brother. Yeah. Oh, White Zombie God. offspring. Oh yeah. Okay. Ministry. Okay. Oh, Ministry just one fix. Yeah. Ooh, and a little KMFDM. Oh, they're Drug Against War, I believe. Uh, yeah, that is the exact song that's on there. Nice. I have that actually in my favorites list. Oh yeah, that's classic. <laughs> uh, KMFDM just released a new album. Oh, crazy. Those this guys year. gotta be ancient. Oh yeah. Sixty years old, seventy <laughs> years old. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's just it just sounds like they're they're older stuff. Oh yeah. There's nothing nothing modern about it. No, no, no. Exactly. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't uh, record any uh, music off of VHS, but I did record me playing NES games for sure. Of course. Yeah, I had to do that. <laughs> Very good. Very good. My friend was into big time into hair metal, too, back yep. in the like, early 90s. Some poison? Poison, like, what else? There was a Canadian band called Sven Gali that he really had. Oh, yeah. He really liked. But I had, like, all these. There'd be a few songs where I'd be like, okay, I like that one. Not the whole album. But, uh, yeah, a lot of Faith No More. Uh, yeah, Ministry. Uh, ah, just, anyways, the cassettes, <laughs> I, I can only imagine what would have been on them. So, I, uh, the first, the song I absolutely loved off the Crusty Demons of Dirt is by Censor. It's called Age of Panic. Absolutely love this song. Mm -hmm. And I remember, remember when they had the Love Shack downtown? Oh, yeah. Where they yeah, had yeah. all the CDs of like just mm -hmm. stuff you couldn't find anywhere Upstairs. else. Upstairs. Yeah. yeah. And I found that Age of Panic album mm -hmm. up there. You can't pre listen to it. No. So I grabbed it. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be great. Mm -hmm. And every song on it is absolute garbage. Oh, really? <laughs> Except for Age of Panic. Oh, really? <laughs> I was like, oh, man. Why? Just. I don't, it just weren't good. Yeah, yeah. You're expecting something, something that sounds like Age of Panic. But oh, nothing, is nothing. it kind of like Sugar Ray when they had fly <laughs> probably and then you buy the sugar ray album and it's all punk rock because <laughs> that's what they were and they had this one like pop song they recorded probably yeah okay i get it i get it <laughs> same thing with goo goo dolls goo goo dolls yeah they were like heavy metal almost very hard rock and then they did their like 
I don't even know what their song was. It's like this love ballad thing, and that's kind of what they became. Iris. Was, Iris. That's the song. Yeah, yeah. But everything else was like hard rock. <laughs> so, anyways, you go where the money is. You definitely go where the money is. Yeah. <laughs> Best of Rock 1998 by Spotify. Oh, God. Best of 1998. <laughs> uh, Offspring, Orgy, Hole. Orgy. Stabbing Westward. Oh, oh man, I love God. Stabbing Westward. Orgy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Number six on here is te- Teardrop by Massive Attack. Okay. That is not rock. I guess so. They'd be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, though. Yeah, probably. Sure. There's all sorts of people in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Anyways. Yes. M- music Minute. <laughs> I got to see Massive Attack, which is one of my dream bands to oh. see. I got to see them live. Where? In uh, Vancouver. Oh. They played it in Stanley Park. Oh. They came... They were in... Uh, Washington for Sasquatch. Which is what? A Sasquatch music festival. It's a huge music festival that they used to have. Okay. And so they were playing there, and someone managed to convince them to come up to Canada because they'd never come to Canada before. Mm. And it was just like, oh my God, we got to go. We got to go, go to Massive them. Attack. Got to go see Massive Attack. Okay. And man, it was the mo- the best concert I've ever seen. Nice. It was unreal. Nice. The light show they had, it was just like slightly misting rain all over the place. Ew. Super emotional music going on. It's like, oh my God, this is the best. This is Crazy. the best thing I've ever seen in my life. But I also got to see Portishead oh, in Vancouver as well, wow. which is Ooh, also la. extremely good. I saw the Spice Girls in Vancouver. <laughs> that was and probably Follow good. Boy. Those are the only two I've seen in Vancouver. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a problem? No. I don't go to concerts either, really. I saw Snoop Dogg here. Snoop Doggy Dogg. Yep. Yep. Okay. yep. That was it, really. I don't think I've ever seen any other concerts. I got to see Offspring here. Oh, yeah. A couple years ago, actually. Oh, that's right. I remember. <laughs> so I was like, why the fuck would you go to that concert? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was our music minute. Pretty good. Do we have another minute we could do? We probably do. I don't so know what it would be the, on. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the masturbation minutes. <laughs> <laughs> List your favorite porns. Go! <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, there's not much news this week, so no. it's called filler. Yeah, but I filler. hope it was interesting and entertaining, yeah. and erotic, maybe as well. Super erotic. Yeah, super erotic. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about the FCC. Okay, let's. That's do the it. that's the federal <laughs> federal communications commission uh-huh. in the states in the Americas in the Americas. Mm-hmm. They have decreed that mm-hmm. 25 megabits per second download and three megabits per second upload are not broadband. Yeah, they're not. No, you can get that on dial-up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like, that's a little slow-ass speed. Could you that imagine? Is, oh, my God. You can't do anything on that. You can send an email. Well, I mean, no, you can do... Well, I guess with the modern internet, yeah, you probably couldn't do anything. No, and like it. HTML5 stuff? It's like, it's, yeah. it's not happening, dude. It's not happening. Yeah, it's crazy how, like, with the sort of... Um, increase in technology and everything that the efficiency of everything just goes down and down (laughs) yep like think back to nes like how big is super mario brothers 48k yeah kilobits yeah it's like nothing right nothing and now like that's like the size of the font in the modern game (laughs) yeah or not even the size of the font that's not enough for the font no fonts are megabits yeah 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 megabytes actually yeah like that's not even enough to like do the i don't even know what you it's like the readme file (laughs) of a game you know i downloaded the readme of the bible once Uh uh-huh it was it was five megs why i don't know okay just for just for fun just for fun yeah i was i was gonna make I had this idea when I was young to make a bbs that Mm -hmm. was a library you get whatever documents you want on it and so I was trying to like put to all this together, mm-hmm. and like downloading the Bible, it was five megs. Why was it so in big? A text file. It was the Bible, man. But it's not that long. It's a big, it's a big book. Not that long. Must have and some, downloading like, it took pictures days. Like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute days to get. Yeah, especially BBS speeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Took up multiple discs to put it on. Yeah, no kidding. Eh? <laughs> Pass me those extra AOL discs. <laughs> yeah. It's like free saving space here. Yeah. Yeah. I uh I use two terabytes a month of data. 
on at your home. home or just oh on your computer yeah so every yeah. this this household mm -hmm. consumes two terabytes that's two thousand gigabytes i don't know how data. much we use at my house but it's got to be a lot because well i'm every night streaming at least two hours of american dad yeah plus anything else that's done through the day yeah. and then live streaming that takes a little bit of <laughs> bandwidth i think i don't know i'm not familiar so yeah i guess could you stream with 25 mbps would it be streaming at 720 30 is that enough oh, bandwidth? God. Let's let's go to the download calculator. Okay. Let's see how long it would take for me to do uh, that amount of terabytes. On f on what, 25 Mbps? Yeah. Oh, my God. It would take 177 hours, 46 minutes, and 40 seconds. For two terabytes? For two terabytes. That's not that bad. That isn't that bad, no. That's nonstop without someone picking up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Disconnecting you and you having to reconnect. <laughs> and then getting through the queue of the dial-up. Do you remember when you'd try to dial up and you'd have to wait because it'd be busy? Oh, my God. <laughs> How did we even live back in the day? So on my current internet, that would take 53 seconds. 53 seconds down to 2 terabytes? Yep, at 300 no. gigabits per second. You Do you get 300? Yep. Wow. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> it's magical. That's how I can watch 2 terabytes of... of YouTube and Netflix and all that. Or oh, is it two terabytes? Maybe it's two thousand terabytes. Yeah, that's probably more. Let me let me two let me look. Two terabytes? Let me look. Two thousand terabytes? Two thousand might be too much. <laughs> that's crazy. That is a lot of data. Okay, let me let me look up in my uh in my app here. But the uh broadband 25 mbps i think there's certain areas that i mean they'll just have to relabel it and say it's not broadband anymore when they're advertising it yeah it'll just be slow band because there's a lot of rural areas that's like the best they can get right yeah because they're still on still on copper out there yeah, yeah, yeah. so and unless you want to pay for the company to come through and do it they're not going to do it <laughs> so sucks for you but yep it is what it is All oh right. yeah it's only two terabytes 2001 i used 1,622 gigabytes last month. Oh, yeah. So it's not, uh, yeah. And you actually get 300 down? Yeah. Wow. I actually get more. I get 320. 320 How down is your internet up. cost? Uh, all my home oh, services cost. Oh, but you're on with cost, the phone and everything, right, too? Right? All my home services cost 200. Wow. Pretty crazy. And then my phones cost 200. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> we pay so much, dude. You sure do. It's ridiculous. I don't pay that much for my internet. It gets the job done, more or less. More or less, yeah. yeah more and or I mean, less. you guys are going to be able to get fiber to your home anyway soon. Because mm -hmm. cause of Rogers buying out uh, the other company. Um, can't I already? I thought I could. No, that's they're just rolling it out now. Oh, yeah. So you still you still have to have copper, but they're aggressively pushing to get people switched over. Mm. They better aggressively push a discount, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. So I can't even remember having internet this slow. Really, I I remember having that slow of internet. I mean, I guess I do. I remember like downloading a song, and it would take like an hour to download <laughs> on like Napster or whatever. Yeah. And it's like three megs or whatever. I'm like, holy fuck. This is crazy. Yes. And then forget it if you want to watch a video or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you weren't you weren't watching a video. I can't remember the first YouTube videos that I watched. Like I can remember watching a long time ago watching certain YouTube videos, but I can't remember like what first was on YouTube that I watched, you know? I didn't. Uh, I didn't get into YouTube until like a couple of years ago. Well, I mean, I wasn't into YouTube, but it would be like you know, let me watch a trailer or something like that. Yeah, it wasn't like I was tuning in to watch specific people because I didn't give a shit about any of that stuff yeah. back in the day. Like I, I remember early YouTubers like Smosh and shit like that, but I'd be like, why the fuck would I watch that? Which <laughs> continues to this day. Like whenever anyone's like about a YouTuber, I'm like, why the fuck would I watch that? 
Yeah, that used to be me. It used to be just real player. Be like, oh, there's a new fucking f- trailer for a movie. I got to try to watch it on real player. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, real player. Oh my god, not real player. Anything but real player. <laughs> yeah, just the worst. Yeah. Oh my god, so terrible. So the FCC is upping the speeds to be considered broadband to 100 megabits per second down and 20 megabits per second up. It's not even. It's still not that much. You no. Know, it's a little nicer though. Get yeah. Stuff done maybe. The. The government of Canada has declared, I don't know how long ago it was, that uh, internet is a uh, basic human right. Hell yeah, it is, dog. <laughs> it should be free. <laughs> so now there's a big push to get all the smaller communities hooked up to fiber. Yeah, it's a little fiber. different in Canada, though, yeah. than America. Oh, where, yeah, for sure. Like, America, it's spread out mm. every state, every area. There's people living. Yeah. But in Canada, it's like, what is it? 90% of the people live within 100 kilometers of the U.S. border. <laughs> yeah. So it's easy to like link all the communities up with high broad- broadband. It's not, not as easy because you still, like, especially those smaller communities that are kind of on the outskirts. Yeah, but it's, it's still much very difficult. easier than America. Oh, yeah. Where it's spread out everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You know? so And a lot easier in the in the interior of Canada versus... The edges. Yes. Well, maybe just here. I don't know what the mountains are like in Ontario and, and over there. I don't, I don't think, think there really is. It's more just like what, eastern BC and Alberta, western yeah. Alberta. But like think Saskatchewan. It's like, oh, we got to link up Saskatchewan? Okay, just f- go straight that way and put <laughs> one line. Yeah. We got every fucking village in the whole country here. Yep. Um, yeah. That's good. They should do it. And I think it should be. Like... They say it's a basic human right or whatever. They kind of do that with the CBC too. Yeah. Well, once I know that once they got rid of the CBC over the airwaves, it's still supposed to be free to everybody. So I know I've heard of people that have gotten cable hookup for free because they get CBC. Hmm. Because, like the actual uh, televised CBC. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be free to everyone yeah. as a government service. Yeah. Canada's weird with a lot of this stuff. Well, I mean, I guess it's not just Canada. It's America, too. But we have a lot of public services that are operated just as a... It's a thing that you yeah. get, right? So, like, we have... I mean, America has it, too, obviously. Like, the post office and stuff like that. But it's not like... That's why people... Whenever people say, like, oh, we operate at the CBC at a loss. Yeah, no fucking shit. <laughs> it's yep. a public service. Yeah. Like, we operate the post office at a loss, too. <laughs> it's because it's there for the people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, anyways. Is, I, don't, uh, I mean, I don't really agree with CBC. Like, subsidized Canadian television. Like, we don't really need it, but whatever. Yeah. It was interesting because it, it uh, within the last 40, 50 years mm-hmm. in, in BC, stuff has changed from a government corporation to now oh, yeah. it is. So all of our utilities were government mm-hmm. and now they're public. Uh, public. They're private, private, private or privately yeah. owned. Yeah, yeah. Like with uh, BC Tel, that mm-hmm. was run by the government. And yeah. now, you know, it's, it's been, it's TELUS. Sold to TELUS. Yeah, they sold it to TELUS. Yeah. And TELUS has bought up a bunch of other stuff. So I don't think BC Hydro is still. No, BC Hydro is still government. They would never sell that. No. No. No, it's too lucrative. Yeah, that's for <laughs> it's sure. too lucrative. Uh, the ga- it used to be BC Gas, mm-hmm. and now it's Fortis. Uh, it's Fortis. Fortis bought them out. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of our government-run uh, utilities are now. Which private. is, I don't know, I kind of disagree with that to an extent. Like, those are also basic things that people need. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Those are basic so they human shouldn't rights. shouldn't be oper- operated as a for-profit business, but I think they're heavily heavily regulated. So yes, yes, they are. They're not that for-profit, <laughs> really. Yeah. So, And at worst, the government could just swoop in and be like, yeah, we're taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> even, gonna... even the telecom companies are heavily regulated. Not enough. Not, not enough, but they're still regulated even by BC Hydro. Because really? BC Hydro oh, dictates a lot of stuff lines? you can do. Yeah, because if you're yeah, yeah. using a joint-use pole, yeah. BC Hydro's like, no, these are the rules. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. have to follow them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't regulate the telecoms enough because it's way too expensive in Canada. It's way too expensive. It's so stupid. And We're like it, the most expensive country in the Western world yeah. for 
cell telephone service. Yeah. With the advent of fiber and everything moving to fiber, mm-hmm. they should lower the cost. They should. Fiber is so cheap. It's yeah, ridiculously they're not going cheap. To. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. But I mean, it is something they could do. But yeah, because there's not enough competition here. Although there is more now. Now that Rogers has bought out, uh, you know, Shaw. Yeah, that's that's more or less competition. That's more because Rogers more? is huge. Rogers yeah, is going to push a lot harder to get into more homes than Shaw could. Yeah, but that's just there was two companies. Now there's one company. No, there's still two. <laughs> there was two, and now there's two. But like, not really. That's like when Telus owns like, I don't know, Kudo or whatever. Yeah, well, it's Telus and Rogers now. Yeah, I know, but not Telus and Shaw. So yeah, it's, but it's they could have had Rogers come in on their own and kept Shaw. They could have, yeah. <laughs> that would have been better but, for the. But the, guy, the BC government was like, "That's nah, fine." Yeah, thank <laughs> you, 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 BC buy government. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it should have been they just come in as a third company with a third option because now we still only have two options. Yes. So, like, I don't... But, I but don't, the other option is now going to be a little bit better than it used to be. Uh, yeah, but uh, do you, you expect the prices to go down I, or anything? I don't think not. so. It would be nice to see, you know, that's wishful thinking. But yeah, yeah it's, it's probably not going to come down They at should all. not have approved that, but... No. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. Yeah. I guess, especially with telecom, it's a lot more difficult because now you've got to... The other companies got to run all their own cables, put in all their own poles or whatever. Well, don't they just share? They do share, Yeah. yeah. But I that thought that makes... was a law. They have to let people use it. Like all these little cheapo public mobile and stuff. Yeah. The government was like, no, you have to let them use it. Yeah. But I'm more thinking about for like a home service mm-hmm. where the lines are like linked together okay. and they all go back to the central office that is owned by, you know, a particular yeah. company. So having to run all your own lines just to break into the market as a I think as a Rogers thing. could afford it. Oh, Rogers could definitely afford it. I think it. they could afford it. They definitely could. Yeah. Because they're Shaw out here. Rogers was like how Telus is back east. Yeah. Just tiny. Yeah, yeah. Like they're not basically don't even exist. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, getting getting more competition in that space is is difficult because you have to have a ton of money just to come mm-hmm. in and put all these lines up. Again, it's a little different in America where you can have like 10 times the client base possibilities. Yes. So it's a little easier for something to start up and, you know, make a profit. Whereas here it's just like, oh... <laughs> it's kind of already set up this way, so. Yeah, because, I mean, Canada is not as big as California. Population-wise. Population-wise. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> California. Why is that? I, I don't know. Like, people just scared of Canada, or what's the deal? I think so. You think that's why? People Maybe. Are it's of not Canada? the land of the free, you know? We don't, uh, we don't have all them, we don't have them First Amendment rights. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I think it's more, we're more strict about it, um, uh, immigration. We actually let in as many people as the States does. You think so? Yeah. But okay. per capita, mm-hmm. we let in way more. Because oh, yeah. we let in like, I think they, I was watching the video, I don't know how accurate it is, but they were saying that uh, we let in about 250,000 immigrants in a year and so does America. That's it? 250,000? Yeah. But, you know, per capita, we well, let in have, way oh, more. It's probably because they capped it. In the more recent times. Yeah. Because it used to not be that way. I would imagine so. Yeah. So per capita, we let in way more and America lets in like per points of a percent. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah. I, that's, I got that out of a YouTube video. I don't know how accurate it is. So. Okay. But. Who knows? It sounds. Nobody it knows. sounds pretty plausible. Let's just say that we <laughs> agree with it. Sounds good. Go with it. <laughs> sounds good. Uh, let's talk about the next thing, mm-hmm. which is TikTok. I've heard of it. You've heard of it. Yep. Uh, there has been a uh, some bills passed in the House of Commons to potentially ban TikTok and platforms like it. Maybe like it. I don't know. No, I didn't. No, 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 I, didn't no. I didn't get through the article because no. it hit me with a, oh, a login thing. No, yeah. it's 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 not about the platform like it. It's about the platform. Period. Is TikTok. it is it specifically about TikTok? Yeah. It's about the China. Uh, the China. Yeah, and how they're Chinese. And they're, <laughs> and they're stealing our data. Yep. You know, f- tracking everyone, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. So they don't give a fuck about YouTube shorts. No. Or Instagram. No. Whatever the fucks they're called. No, because that's all American. American company. Yeah. Yeah, it's about the... Well, they say it's like, oh, it's about China's gut tracking, blah, 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 blah. But it's also like, you know, America versus China. Yeah. 
American interests. Because if there's no TikTok, well, that's really good for Google and <laughs> Meta. It sure you know? is, yeah. So they're, I don't know if it's true. Maybe TikTok's tracking enough that it um, uh, is bad that way. But it is, I mean, okay, are they going to ban, like, I don't know, Timu? Right. Or, like... Shen? Yeah, whatever, however you pronounce that. And then... Shen? Yeah. What are the other ones? Like, Alibaba? Yeah. All that shit? Mm Mm-hmm. Or, like, ban all the, like, the Chinese drop shippers on Amazon? Like... Yeah, right? I don't know, dude. It is weird, though, that they're going after this app, but it is pretty much the most popular social media platform in the world. Yep, currently it definitely is. Yeah. Um, so, and obviously the size of it, it's not well regulated or moderated, I should say. So there's not enough people to like look at every TikTok <laughs> that go on there, you know? Yeah. Definitely has to rely on like. Um, sort of community moderation or whatever. Yeah. Not that I've seen anything too weird on TikTok, but they'll be like, wow, there's a real weird trend that going on now of like women showing their vagina <laughs> by like holding a can in front of their crotch and then they'll move the can up for a millisecond and you can see their cooch and stuff <laughs> like that. Or the one, uh, the one that I saw recently about vaginas was they would wear an extremely see-through oh, yeah. dress yeah. and just stand in front of the, yes. the light source. That one I haven't seen in a while either, but yes, I've seen that one as well. And it's like, okay, you're getting around the TikTok whatever nudity thing. But yeah. it's also like, well, what? why? <laughs> <laughs> I guess to get some followers? Like, I guess that's basically what it is, you know? But unless you're doing... I don't, anyways, I don't understand why you do it unless you're like making money on TikTok or like having OnlyFans or whatever, but it would be just like regular accounts doing this. So, yeah, it's, it's the, uh, you know, it's the trend. Yeah. You gotta do it in order to get the views. And there's a lot of stolen stuff on TikTok too. Oh, everything. Oh my God. There's so much stolen stuff on TikTok. It's unreal. 90% of anything I see, I'll be like, oh, this is just stolen. Yeah. Because they'll take it, like a podcast clip or whatever, but Mm -hmm. then they'll put like video footage of someone playing Grand Theft Auto underneath it or something. Like it's it's so weird. I don't understand (laughs) where this meta came from. That's the ADHD meta. I guess so. (laughs) You need like three screens going on at once. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Uh... I don't know. Am I for or against this? I mean, if they're tracking that much, I mean, you have to agree to it. Yeah, you you (laughs) You, agree to do it. You don't have to install TikTok on your phone. And if they're tracking me, like my location or whatever, oh, who the fuck gives a shit? Like, is the Chinese operative going to come to my house? Knock on your door and be like, hey. Yeah. You're, You're watching too many thirst traps. <laughs> Come with us. <laughs> Come with us, sir. Time to get re-educated. Oh, the old re-education. It does make me want to buy some, like, you know, stock in Google and Meta. Mm-hmm. When TikTok, if they get banned, they'll have to move somewhere. Yep. Then, nah, not really. They'll just VPN. Like, these, come on. these v- They'll all be <laughs> VPNing from their phone into TikTok. Like, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Especially the people making money on TikTok. Yeah, that's uh, people's livelihoods going away. All those NPC streamers, what are they going to do? Uh, contribute something productive to <laughs> society, I guess. I haven't seen any of those guys recently either, though. They used to pop up in my, like, For You page. And I'd just be like, this is so stupid. Thanks for the roses. Thanks for the roses. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, man. Yeah, it's it's not for me. You know. I do look at TikTok a lot, but I just swipe through. I don't know. I guess I have found some things that I... Like, I would have never watched, listened to Tiger Belly or Bad Friends Podcast without TikTok. No? Cause, no. I only watch them on YouTube shorts. Yeah. I listen to them at work and stuff like that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But I never would have, like, looked them up. I didn't listen to any comedy podcasts before that... I would just listen to, like, video game podcasts and, like, true crime podcasts. <laughs> oh, and then I would listen to, the, like, they do an audio version of um, um, 
real time with Bill Maher, like the HBO yep, yep. show. You can listen to that as a podcast too. So that's the only thing I would listen to. Oh, and I guess there's a Egyptian history podcast that I listen to mm. as well. But because I saw these clips and I kept being like, "Why? I don't care." Flip, 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 and then I would like let some play <laughs> and be like, "Oh, it's, these these guys are pretty funny." Oh right? yeah, oh yeah, they say some say some things. For yeah, sure. sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, I get a lot of Tiger Belly. Yeah, I get a lot of just comedy. Yeah, like Felt Face has been recommended to me quite often. Felt Face, he's a puppet. Okay, Australian puppet. <gasps> I wouldn't watch that. It's funny. I love it. I don't like gimmick comedy. <laughs> That's like I don't like Jeff Dunham. Yeah, I don't. Like I don't like Jeff Dunham either. But I... Felt Face, I like because it's 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 just the puppet. Okay, there's nobody else up there. Okay, I don't like Carrot Top. Like I don't like gimmick comedy. <laughs> so. Oh man, carrot top. Yeah, what a dried piece of jerky right now. <laughs> yeah, he looks he's really so like, stretched. Oh my god, he's like yoked, but also like stretched really thin. Like his skin looks like <laughs> it know. hurts. Well, he's probably like a thousand years old now. I mean, he's probably fifty something. I wouldn't think he's sixty. Yeah, but he's super yoked. But he's also yeah. It looks like his skin is his face skin is painful. <laughs> He's so. 59. Yeah, I was going to say. He's been um, in the sun too much, but yeah, he's still yoked. Yeah, but it's just because his skin is stretched taut. <laughs> he's had too much plastic surgery. Probably. Yeah. And these, it, sometimes uh, Carrot Top and Polly Shore video would be recommended to me on YouTube, and uh, I have to watch it out of morbid curiosity. And it's just the most awkward thing I've ever seen. It's just like, what are you guys doing? doing is this supposed to be funny yeah yeah yeah. i mean paulie shore was on an episode of tiger belly they listened to and it was pretty funny yeah i mean i enjoyed like paulie shore and Cino man and stuff like that back <laughs> biodome, in the day biodome let's go yeah biodome was okay but again it was all i wasn't a huge paulie shore fan no and then even when i got older i re- i found out it was like he's like a nepo baby so <laughs> that also doesn't improve my uh likability of him you know yeah <laughs> like oh his mom owned the biggest comedy club in la that's crazy that he's a comedian <laughs> yeah it's weird <laughs> That's so crazy. I get a lot of React content fed to me, and I'm like, ah, skip, skip, skip. I don't want to watch this guy just nod his head at this friggin' clip. Oh, yeah. There's a new one they've been showing me. It's like an engineer reacts, but his reaction is like him sitting there and going, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, it's so dumb. And I'm like, oh, my God, get this trash off my page. The only one that I actually like of that, just because the guy is I don't, I don't know. It, it's the one where it's like OSHA fails, and it's got the guy with the hard hat, and he goes, oh, oh, oh. Like he's got, and when he's not wearing his hat, he's got a really big hair. That's, yeah. I know exactly the guy. He's been reacting to Indian street food recently. <laughs> I think that's the guy. Yeah. He'll be like looking at him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But his content gets stolen so much. Oh, yeah. I'll see it. I'm like, oh, this But he's is... stealing content. He, he is stealing content, but All he's doing stealing is his content. Moose. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can do that. I just did it. Maybe it's because I work in an industry where OSHA kind of things, yeah, work safe comes into play a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know the recent ones he's been reacting to Indian street food, which I would probably make the same reaction because I'll see <laughs> and be like, "Why do they wash their hands in the soup? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> that's disgusting." <laughs> but that's just the way it is. So it's yep. just a cultural thing. Yeah, but I, I I can understand why P- they make that reaction. Yes. If they didn't have the hand washing in the soup, I'd be like, that looks pretty tasty. Yeah. <laughs> I could probably eat that. But then it's like, oh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, one of my favorite YouTubers is a is a React channel, and that's all they do. Really? Yeah. I'm covered head to toe in their merch right now. What is it? Uh, It's uh, MXR Plays. Never heard of them. Yeah. I got, that's all I'm wearing is their merch right now. Why? <laughs> <laughs> They're my absolute favorite, man. I don't know. I just, like, I come home from work. I hop in a bath, I watch a video, I laugh my ass off, and then... And he's uh, reacting and to good, what? They, they, they react to just whatever, like uh, Reddit content and stuff like that. And how's the reactions go? Uh, they're they're good, because they're, they're an awkward couple. And they react, they read the thing, and they laugh, and then they read the next one? Well, no, it's... They do that for some, but, you know, they talk about things and stuff. Okay. So and exact... they have hot takes and cold takes, and okay. they say the most awkward stuff sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard of them. No. I think I have heard of them because I think you said oh, when yeah. you got these before and I said, why? <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that? 
I don't know. I, I support their channel as okay. much as possible. All right. Just because, yeah, it's it's part. They're part of my daily routine. Okay. If they don't put out a video that day, I'm like, oh, what do I even do? Oh, geez, Louise, you but just don't know um, what to do with your life. I know they've been putting out a video every other day now, mm-hmm. but every other day videos are like f- half an hour to forty five minutes. Okay. <laughs> so I can watch it. You know, over the course of two days. Over the course you of two can, days, like, make it last. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. I yeah, see. Yeah, they're good. And there's oh. another. There's another one we just started watching. It's like an Australian couple. They're not. They're not a couple. Uh-huh. But it's like a guy and a girl, and, and the girl has the most outrageously loud like laugh. And that's good. And just wheezing all the time. It's, and that's it's good. Hilarious. It's good. Yeah, because oh, okay. she's so funny. Because she laughs. Cause she, well, just her laugh and the things that she says, and it's, you know, they're Australian, so it's even funnier. Throw another shrimp on the Bobby. <laughs> Maybe a dingo ate your baby, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's not a knife. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, I get exactly. it. I kind of get exactly. it. Exactly. I kind of get it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of stuff I get fed on on shorts and streams and stuff like that. Just comedy and react. But now it's just all Tarkov. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've been showing me a lot of Helldiver stuff, and I can't swipe away fast enough. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the other thing I'm not liking on TikTok, maybe this is why they should be banned. It'll be like the top 10 hardest bosses in video games, and I'll be watching the video, and the video only has five of the bosses. Yeah, then you got to find part two. No, fuck that, dude. <laughs> That's bullshit. That's how they get you to go to their channel no, and never hit, do. hit like and subscribe. Never do. And follow. Never do. I never ever do. Yeah. They also show me a lot of the lock picking lawyer, which I cannot swipe fast <laughs> enough away from. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. That's just boring. Every video is the same. Yeah, I open the lock. Yep. Good but, job. Are you going to challenge me? Done. Opened it. Congrats. You've done it a thousand times now. All you have to use is this tin can. Yeah. You can open the lock. Congrats. You've done it. Yeah. Again and again. <laughs> I I like it when they when any of those lock picking channels show completely unique locks. Like the bully lock, okay. which is a crazy lock. I just see a lock deadbolt, and I'll be like, look at this. It's got buttons on it. <laughs> now it's open. Yeah. I opened it with a toothpick. Why is this video 10 minutes long? You opened it in three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. TikTok. It's not going to be banned in Canada, so I'll be fine. Yeah. Though Canada goes where America does, so yeah, it'll be banned Most of the time, Canada yes. Shortly yep. thereafter, so... <laughs> I guess I'll just have to start watching YouTube shorts. I don't know. I don't want to, though. (laughs) You know, I uh, I keep watching a guy on just both YouTube shorts and regular YouTube. He's a Tarkov streamer. He's called Stankrat. Stankrat. (laughs) And he just, all he does is he sits at an extract and just kills guys as they come and try and get out. Pretty fun. Oh, that's, yeah, it's, I don't know. He's hilarious. Seems wienerly to me. It's extremely wienerly. Mm-hmm. He'll like okay. light up a dude, just like a hundred bullets to try and kill him, and it'll be like one tap. <laughs> There's okay. Last TikTok <laughs> thing I'm gonna say. They keep showing me these pic- these videos of some guy who plays NASCAR, but when people play online, they try to do it like actual NASCAR. Yeah, where they'll follow the rules, but he'll just be a total douche and be like. I'm coming out of the pits high, and he'll like smash it at everybody. Cause a <laughs> reaction, they'll be like, "You didn't come out of the fucking pit, you asshole!" He's like, "Yeah, you drove into me. Like I said, I was coming out of the pit, and you drove into me. You wrecked the race." They'll be like, "No, it's you, you fucking asshole!" <laughs> and then he'll like say stuff like, "Hey, you remember when Dale Earnhardt jo- died?" <laughs> and he'll like do jokes about like Dale Earnhardt dying, and they'll be like, "Dude, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. He's a legend, man." <laughs> like, what the fuck is this even going on here so yes tiktok ban it i dare you go ahead Let's see if That's i care what the china guy the guy that ran <laughs> tiktok he did a he posted a tiktok about how try i guess trying to rally people like yeah. oh this is very bad and blah 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 and it's just like well it's you know chinese company trying to operate in america mm-hmm. they make the rules so yep they don't like it you're gone Get banned. bye Get banned, bye bro. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. So just sell it to Bobby Kotick. He says he'll buy it. Yes. He doesn't have enough money. Because <laughs> how much would TikTok have to be sold for? Oh, billions. Like twenty billion dollars. Probably. Like, oh my god. Probably. So it'd have to be a consortium of other. Oh yeah. Douches. Every everyone would have to get their douche money together. Yeah. To out douche each other. Exactly. 
I so. guess. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, like, it doesn't need to Bobby Kotick. Like, anyone could be in charge of TikTok and it would be fine. Mm-hmm. So. Though he could probably do it. He took Activision from, like, a $2 million company to what they sold it to Microsoft for. So. Uh, a bunch, yep. So, he could do it. Yes. I believe in him. I believe, too. <laughs> Good guy, Bobby Kotick. Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our final story of the day, uh-huh. we're going to talk about the 2024 finalists for the World Video Game Hall of Fame. <gasps> oh, and this is what, the Museum of, uh, Strong M- Museum of Play in New York, Rochester? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is the, the 2024 finalists for the Hall of Fame. Let's go through them. Tell me if you've played any of these, Michael T. Okay, yep. We've got Elite, Spiritual Precursor to Elite Dangerous, I believe. I have not. Computer Game, Spacing and Flying and whatnot. What's, I've never played it. What's the slideshow? It's a screenshot of every game. Is it? Yeah. Is it not working for you? Well, it is, but there's the first game in the... Oh, wait, never mind. There it is. <laughs> missed What's it. the problem? I just missed it. I couldn't see it. What's, yeah, what Elite, do you see? Uh, the Asteroids. Oh. But it's in there. It's in the bottom right. Yes. Uh, yeah, Elite. Never played it. Played Elite Dangerous. Not uh, not the OG. Okay. I think this one's weird. Guitar Hero World Tour. Uh, yeah, never played that one. You never played Guitar Hero World Tour? No. What? Guitar Hero 2, but not World Tour. World Tour is the one that came out after Rock Band. Yeah. That stole the Rock Band. Yeah, yeah. Never played it. Yeah, why isn't it just Guitar Hero? Why isn't it just Rock Band? Well, Guitar Hero, like, sort of, well, didn't really invent the genre, but it kind yeah. of was the starting point for the genre. So it's a little weird to me that they went with World Tour. Because that was, like, <laughs> Rock Band's mode was called World Tour. Mm-hmm. And they were like, well, we're going to add drums and whatnot to our Guitar Hero, so we'll just call it Guitar Hero World Tour. Yeah, they, uh, the, when you go to the actual entry, it's mm-hmm. just Guitar Hero. Oh, so they probably just did... Um, a bad choice of the cover art. Yep. Cover art. Okay, well that makes more sense then. Um, missed. Yep, played that. Makes sense that that's going in there. Yeah, that I agree a, too. Yeah, I've never played it, but I know it's like hugely influential. Oh, oh yeah, hugely influential. So, uh, I, actually, maybe I played it. It might have come on on PlayStation. Yeah. So maybe I did play it. Probably. I mean, it was a CD-based game, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was also, like, an Apple, like, card-based game or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> where you had to click through the cards or however they designed it at originally. So... It was it was a walking simulator. Go to one spot, yeah. look at the thing, and try and solve the puzzle. And then you hear a crunch, and you have to go all the way to the other side of the fucking island yep. to open the door. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm familiar. I'm familiar with Mist. Yep. Um, Resident Evil. Of course. Dude, I remember when this game, I first rented it from Superior Video mm-hmm, here in Canloops, mm-hmm. up the hill, and taking it home and being like, what the hell? This game is incredible. <laughs> what the frig oh, is yeah. going on here? And just having my mind blown about, like, the immersive storytelling and the the gameplay it was fine back then like oh yeah nowadays it then. it's like oof the control tank controls are pretty bad mm-hmm. can't fire when you're moving <laughs> and this game was scary as hell when it came out oh my god i think it still is pretty scary because the controls are so bad <laughs> yeah you just panic yeah just dude. full-on panic you like, can't get turned around fast think enough. about the first time you go down that hallway and the dogs jump through the oh window. yeah so oh, scary my god so scary we uh the first time we played it I took my PlayStation up to my buddy Fraser's house, and we mm-hmm. had rented it from, yeah. I think, Movie Mart in Valley View. Oh, yeah. And we threw it on, and man, everyone's just like, oh, my God, what the hell? I know, I know, I know. I remember <laughs> out. not Resident Evil, but we were playing at our friend ho- Dean's house. We were playing some scary game. We're talking about playing a scary game and how scary it was, and his wife was like, oh, I can't believe you're getting scared from a video game. <laughs> like, oh, I can't believe it. And I'm like, uh... Don't you get scared from movies? <laughs> and right? she's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, imagine you're playing the movie. Wouldn't that be scary too? And she's like, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Resident Evil, hugely influential. Created the survival horror genre, yes. more or less. I mean, Alone in the Dark did come out before Resident Evil, but yeah, Resident it didn't, Evil. 
Alone in the Dark didn't kick it off. No, it, it was no. the OG, but it didn't really. Yeah. It, it wasn't popular. You know? I had this exact Resident Evil Two, the long box PS One yeah. release with That's the cardboard box. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, so <laughs> crazy! Yeah, I rented it and then I had to buy it, and I beat it like oh so many times because there'd be like different scenes if you do things in different orders different things will happen yep like if you go straight to if you don't go right at the start if you go if you don't go into the room with the zombie the first zombie you know Mm -hmm. that's eating if you don't go in there and you go in another way that zombie will just come into the other room (laughs) and barry be like what is that and he'll like shoot it you know so it's pretty crazy. It's blood. Maybe it's Chris's blood. Uh, that's Don't cool. open that door. Yeah. Arst, arst. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Uh, this is a Japanese one. It's Tokimeki called... Tokimeki Memorial. Yeah. I don't actually know what Tokimeki Memorial is. So no, never played it. I can see it's from Konami. Mm-hmm. And that's about all I know of it, so I yeah. can't really comment on it. Uh, it's a cohesive narrative, colorful graphics, unparalleled depth of choice, and engaging gameplay to a dating simulator genre. Oh, so it's like a visual novel. Yep. Okay. Must have been one of the early visual novel style, <laughs> style games. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I can't really comment on it. Me neither. Never played it. SimCity. Of course, classic. Oh my god, SimCity. <laughs> I played so much SimCity on the Super Nintendo, mm-hmm. which was different than the PC one. Because Quite. it had added in, well, I don't. I, I think there's natural disasters in the. Yeah, there's PC always been version. natural disasters. Yeah, but like in this one, I think Bowser can attack the city. <laughs> yeah, and, instead of Godzilla. Yeah, and uh, oh my god, I played so much of it. This the the big box PC art mm-hmm. was some of the most the classic big box PC art. That's one of the ones that I remember seeing in a store, and I was like, oh my. God, look at the art on this box. I don't know why the fuck I like to play SimCity. Like, you'd think when you're, like, Super Nintendo, what did it come out, like, 93 or something like that? Mm-hmm. I guess I would have been, like, 14, 15 or something like that. Yep. But, like, why the fuck would I be like, oh, I can build a city? Cool. <laughs> Let me do that. <laughs> like, why the fuck did I think SimCity was a good idea? Yeah, it's just such a good idea. I don't know why. People just love that city Maybe simulator. Maybe it was because I liked... In the NES days, when I played like Nob- Nobunaga's Ambition uh, and Genghis yes. Khan and stuff like that, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that might have led into it, you know? Because I don't know why the fuck I would be interested in playing <laughs> a city builder, but I played the shit out of it, dude. Yeah. I, I guess I liked sim games back then a lot. Like, I remember playing Aerobiz, multiplayer Aerobiz. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, baby. <laughs> Act I Razor. never, I never played Aerobiz. Act Razor for sure. Yeah, Act Razor was the first game I ever played on Super Nintendo. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. Start off with a bang. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we rented one for. You didn't play Super Mario Brothers? Like, no. Super Mario World? No. Wow. Act Razor was the first one. Crazy. Because we had rented it mm-hmm. for my buddy's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. You decided on Act Razor? Yeah, that's what we played. One guy would play Act Razor. The other guy would be on the PC playing XCOM, and the other guy would be reading comics. And then oh, we just wow. rotate. <laughs> wow. That sounds pretty good, actually. It was, yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> I played SimCity, SimCity 2000. Yeah, That's I played more SimCity really. 2000 than, than regular SimCity. Um, it's probably a toss-up for me between the two. Because I got, I got my PlayStation with SimCity 2000. Yeah. Because I didn't get a PlayStation until after it had been out for a while, so. But, uh. I never played it on PC, and I've never played any other version. Just hmm. those two. But I played at like my friend's house. It'd be like he's got Sim Farm, Sim Ant, Sim Earth. Like I, <laughs> I think I played Sim Earth on the Super Nintendo as well. So I don't think I ever played any of those except for Sim Ant, and I only played it a little bit in the uh, computer lab in high school. Oh yeah, Sim Farm was cool because you could like fly the crop duster and stuff like that. <laughs> Pretty fun. No, they have Farming Simulator where you can do the same thing. Yeah, but Sim Farm was better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in the day when I go to my friend's house and they'd have like Railroad Tycoon and stuff like that, I'd yeah. always play those. Yeah. I'm not sure why I got into those simulators, but whatever. Yep. Uh, Metroid. Classic. Yeah, I remember like this one talking about it on the playground at school mm-hmm. and being like, I beat Mother Brain. <laughs> <laughs> Spawned a whole genre. <laughs> yeah, the Metroid. Vania. Vania. Though, the name is not... 
Like, Metroid is Metroid. Castlevania was not Avania until, like, what, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest? Because the first Castlevania, it's just, like, a regular level-based game. Yeah. But then with Simon's Quest, it adds, like, the sort of more Metroidvania-like stuff to it, you know? Yeah. Going back and, like, go, being able to go to different areas because you've unlocked it and you've got different items to let you go there or whatever, you know? But this is old school gameplay where it's like, if you were to play it now, you would be just like, why does it not have the modern conveniences <laughs> of like autosave or any of the stuff we're used to, you know? Yeah. But that's the way it was back in the day. Mm-hmm. Justin Bailey. Get Samus no suit. Justin <laughs> Bailey code. <laughs> yeah, I played the shit out of this. I, think I, I beat it one time. I did not play the original. Really? Yeah. I only wow. played uh, Super the, Metroid, Super Metroid, which is arguably like fifty times better than <laughs> Metroid. <laughs> yeah, but I played the shit out of Metroid. I didn't own it, but it would be one like trade with my friend or mm-hmm. whatever, you know. And I, I absolutely love the genre. Mm-hmm. Well, so. yeah, I really like like Symphony of the Night. Mm-hmm. Actually, I haven't really played anything beyond that. I mean, I played a little Rogue Legacy and whatever, but. Super or yeah, Symphony of the Night. Yeah, yep. back on the PlayStation, I fucking wrap that up like a hundred percent. Like, well, two hundred and one point whatever percent it is, <laughs> I did it. Yeah, you give me a Metroidvania roguelike, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in. Yeah, let's go. Exactly. Uh, you don't know Jack? Super, super huge, super infru- influential. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, everyone still plays those games. Yeah, to this day. Um, I've played some on stream, not like I play with like a streamer. I've never played them yeah. as a standalone thing or whatever, but yeah. And you don't know Jack, the originator of the, uh, the Jackbox party pack games. Yeah. I guess that's more what I played. Than yeah. You yeah. Don't know Jack. Yeah. But I, I played the original, you don't know Jack way back when, and it was so fun. Yeah. I was like, man, this is great. Getting just absolutely roasted by the host love it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah it's the jackbox stuff is fun so yeah i can see where the influence has happened you know yeah and they're on like jack back jackbox oh, well, they pack like 10 now they're pretty easy to do oh like, yeah just record new audio and put in like public domain photos and videos and stuff like that <laughs> like you just need a good writer basically the games don't really innovate control or graphically you know yeah so they're pretty easy to crank them out. Yeah. The main thing is as long as the writing is good, they'll be fine, you know? Mm-hmm. So. Um, Asteroids. Asteroids. I had this on my 2600. <laughs> played the shit out of it. Yeah. I didn't play it properly, though. What do you mean? I didn't fly around. Oh, you just sat in the middle and shot? Yep. I mean, that was the easiest way to play. As soon as you start flying around, it's like, oh, You're game is over, baby. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But I played the shit out of this. Those 2600 games, they're simple as fuck. But, like, when I had the 2600 way, way back in the day, like, it didn't matter how simple they were. Yeah, you played them. It was just play it. Used your imagination. Oh, big time. <laughs> Yars Revenge, Asteroids, Missile Command. Mm-hmm. I loved Missile Command. Robotron. I never played Robotron. No, that was one of my favorites. I loved Missile Command. That was my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Defender. Defender, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. But, yeah, Asteroids. And even the original, I never played the original arcade Asteroids, which was like vector graphics. Yep. Because that looked cool as shit. Yeah, vector graphics are always cool. Yeah. Which is a style, if you don't know, how would you even describe it? It's uh, like light projected on the screen, kind well, of? Well, it's, it's like a CRT, but a CRT does scan lines, right? So mm-hmm. it starts at the top and moves to the bottom, whereas a vector-based graphics system shoots the la- shoots the beam and draws the graphics as it happens. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. not from the top to the bottom, but as it uh, as I guess kind of think about how, like, things are... Well, no, that's scan lines, too. I was going to say how things are created in Tron, but those are sort of scan line done, too. Like, mm-hmm. you know the movie Tron, where they are loading in something yeah yeah like, yeah that, that loads like in like, like a regular crt whereas vector it's graphics, like a laser show but it's on the monitor yeah yeah it's a it's like a laser yeah. draws it draws the laser so there's one point of light that draws everything and then persistence of vision takes over yeah yeah it's but, crazy yeah it just draws it, looks it super cool. as the lines not top to bottom looks super cool but yeah, yeah. i played a lot of asteroids and be like you know taking turns with my brother be like, when you die, you, you change. <laughs> it's like, I'm not flying anywhere. No, you have to fly. <laughs> uh, the next one, this egg-shaped thing. 
Neopets. Neopets. Did you ever play Neopets? Played the hell out of Neopets. Oh, did you really? Yep. Me too. <laughs> I don't know how Way I got on the day. Neopets, but I played a bunch of it. I still have my account. Yes. I can log into it. Yep. I have some valuable items on my Neopets account. Yeah? Yeah, because... A lot of, a lot of rare paintbrushes or what? Yeah, and rare Neopets, but also like... I would always buy like limited edition like crossover items. So it would be like... There's a thing with Nestle Crunch or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And you could buy like Nestle Crunch bars. But when the promo ended, they would always change them into like a weirdo item that was like oh, a rare item because yeah. no one had them, you know? Yeah. So I don't know if they actually have real money value for trading, but there's some stuff in there that I have that is not available. Yeah. And I don't know how I got onto Neopets because it's not something you'd think like... No. A dude would be playing, but <laughs> I guess it was like early internet, and it's like, whoa, check out this game you can play. It's totally free. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, it's got a bunch of games in it. Yeah, You yeah, just yeah. play games and games. Yeah, so that's probably and what it was. feed your pets. I wonder if I was playing Pokemon then. That might have had something to do with it, too. Could it was be. probably after I started playing Pokemon Ruby, so the collecting of pets probably <laughs> yeah. had something to do with it, too, but yeah, I played a bunch of Neopets. I had a lot of fun playing with it. But it's also like the game is like I don't know if it's owned by the same people, but it was sort of like vaguely Scientologist based because was like it? yeah, the people that owned it were like Scientologists. Uh. So there was like when you're younger, you don't really realize when you're reading some of this, it's like that's kind of like Scientology <laughs> philosophy yeah. you're huh. spouting here. So yeah, I don't know if it's still like that, but I might log in when I go home. <laughs> yeah, just to check it out, yeah, look around a little bit. On, you know, yeah, it's still active. You can yep. still do it. Yep, yep, yep. Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk Pro, Pro Skater. Skater. How many hours of Tony Hawk Pro Skater did you play? Tons. Oh, my God. <laughs> that game came out, you're just playing it nonstop. Oh, my God. So much Pro Skater. I did everything in that game. The PlayStation 1 one? Yeah. Because every level had challenges. Yep. So it'd be like, collect and spell skate. <laughs> do yep. like a certain value of a trick on this part of the level. Or do a combo this long or whatever. And... I think I did it all. Like, that was still in the era where it was like, I didn't have my own money, mm -hmm, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it was like, I got my one game, or I saved up to buy my one game. Yep. And it was like, well, that's the game I'm going to play for the next six months. <laughs> yeah. And I so will become everything. a professional at it, and I'll do everything in it. Mm-hmm. Because there was very few games that I got like that in the back in the day where it was like, no, I'm not playing this anymore. Yeah. Like, I think the only one I could really think of was that we got Back to the Future 2 and 3 on the NES. And that <laughs> game is atrocious. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah, just tricking around as Tony Hawk. Like, I didn't give a fuck about skateboarding. I didn't skate. I knew some skaters, but I didn't I didn't know it. Like, what's an ollie? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I mean, because of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. You definitely know. I know what an ollie is. I know what an ollie is. I know what a Christ air is. Like, all that shit. So, yeah. And I continued to play skating games after that. Like, mm -hmm. Skate, well, Tony Hawk's 2 and 3, American Wasteland, Skate, 1 and 2, like, all that shit. Yep. So good. Very good. Loved it. Mm-hmm. And then Ultima 1. Ultima 1. Lord British, I believe. Lord British is right. I never played Ultima 1. No, I didn't either. I never played Ultima 2. Nope, me neither. Or 3. Nope. Or 4. Nope. 5. Nope. 6 or 7. Nope, neither. Yeah. But dude, <laughs> it looked, it was like right up my alley. Oh yeah. Like when I would see it, I'd be like, or I'd read about it in a magazine and they'd describe like, oh yeah, this is the Ultima. I'd be like, oh my God, <laughs> the options are endless. Yeah. There's literally no end to this game. When I was a child, yeah. there was a family who lived up the street from me. Yeah. They had a Commodore 64, uh -huh. and they had Ultima 3. Oh, baby. And I I would just go there so I could watch them play Ultima 3. Oh, yeah. yeah That's yeah. all I did. Yep. And I was like, oh, my God, this is the best thing ever. I this know. is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Or reading about Ultima Online. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to play Ultima Online so bad back in the day, because it was kind of like, almost like EVE Online is now, mm -hmm. where it'll be like weirdo things that you would not think could happen in the game would happen in the game. Yep. Because they didn't think of it or whatever. Like, I remember reading about how there was going to be a... Lord British was going to log in and do, like, a speech, mm -hmm. and someone snuck up behind him and killed him in the middle <laughs> of the speech. And it was just like, wow, that's something that would happen in EVE Online, like, you know, some intrigue or whatever, you know? Yeah. 
So, yeah, I was always like Ultima. Yeah. I yeah, Ultima Online was one of those games where you could there was a market on an outside of game market for your items. Yes. So like you could sell plots of land for like hundreds of dollars yeah, or, or yeah. whatever it was. You could sell this blood spattered uh, tile because it was the only blood splattered tile like this in the game yeah. for like thousands of dollars. Yeah. It, was, it was crazy. My buddy played it for, for quite some time. Oh, really? Yeah. He was like, yep, this is how you do it. Yeah. I tried to play it once and I was like, this is garbage. <laughs> it was too late for you? It was too late for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to be there like during the... During the heyday for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah, actually, I never got to chance to play Ultima Online. Like, my first MMO, I think, was Dark Age of Camelot. Yeah. And then it was all WoW, basically, after that. With a little dabbling with the Lord <laughs> of the Rings. And I don't know if there's any other ones I've played, really. The only one I really got into was WoW. I played a little EVE Online. Yeah, definitely the most was WoW. I mm-hmm. almost want to just re subscribe so i can log in and do slash played <laughs> see how many hours or days are on my hunter yeah <laughs> oh it's got to be in the hundreds mm-hmm. it's got to. but i'm afraid then i'll be like oh yeah wow i'll play this for the next six months nonstop. <laughs> you won't you don't think so no nah, i tried yeah but you tried classic yeah but classic is where it's at yeah but no you think it's where it's at but when you go back you're like oh yeah i remember <laughs> i remember this i remember it took me like a year to save up my to buy one horse (laughs) yep (laughs) so yeah that was good times i remember i had the money to buy my horse when i leveled up to level 40 yeah i saved every fucking penny dude i sold every fucking (laughs) every copper and when i turned level 40 i immediately i had my horse i think before i was level 40 yeah yeah because my friends were like what the fuck how did you get your horse already i'm like (laughs) i saved my money dude well the horse wasn't the expensive part is the it was training. The training, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a hundred gold to yeah. train to ride the horse. Yeah, yeah. That was a lot of money back yeah. then. What Holy a game shit. changer, though. <laughs> but it wasn't even that fast. It was no. like forty percent. Yeah, of still. Speed. You got that horse and you rode it with yeah. pride. And or, that was, in my case, Raptor. Oh yeah, yeah. I was a lions <laughs> back then when I first got it. But then it was also like, oh no, there's a river. I'm gonna dismount because <laughs> the horse can't ride through the river. Yeah. Oh, classic, <laughs> classic World of Warcraft. What a good time. Anyways, uh, so let me see. I've played one, two, three, four, five, six. I played seven of these games. Seven? Yep. I played Guitar Hero, SimCity, Metroid, Resident Evil, Asteroids, Neopets, and Tony Hawk. And I didn't play one, two, three, four, five of them. I've got eight. Oh, really? Uh, so you played Mist, Guitar Hero, Mist, yeah. SimCity, Asteroids, Resident Evil, Neopets, Tony Hawk, and uh, Jack. Oh yeah, I never really played the Don't Know Jack, so hmm. I guess I'm just not as a rounded gamer as you. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, that's only because I had PC. That's the only reason that I was able to play probably more games than you. At you know, growing I had up. a really shitty like free personal computer. When I was younger. A free PC? But it was like a uh, five and a half inch floppy or whatever size they were. Yeah. And it was like, oh, we're going to play like, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what games we had. Just some bol- malarkey, basically. <laughs> I never had a computer until like early internet days. Yeah. Like late PlayStation 1 times. So 97. Yeah. Something like that, 98. I had my first one back in the 80s. Yeah. (laughs) It was like 98 probably when I had my first thing that I could play games on. And even then it was like, no, I'm just be on the internet instead. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So anyways. All right. That's it for the news. Not much this week. Not much this week. Please forgive us. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, Game Club. Plamic Club. (laughs) Each week. We play a video game. We play a chapter or a segment or a timed interval of that video game. And then we talk about it live here on stream. Yes, sir. This is a game club. It's like a book club, except for video games. And you are Mm -hmm. welcome to play along with us uh, by joining the Discord down below. Or by joining us live on twitch.tv forward slash streamboypod. 
I just brain farted there. That's okay. And uh, yeah, you can play along with us. You can share your experiences live with us, or you can share them in the Discord, and we will talk about them. Yes, please. When uh, when you do. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, you are welcome to join. And of course, we're playing Death the Stranding? Death Stranding. Hideo Kojima's masterpiece. Masterpiece? Question mark? Questioning? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is episode three. Yeah, we're playing it sort of, uh, just sort of, like, play... Well, we post on the Discord how far to play up yeah. to, basically. I try and get through, uh, see how far I can get to, and then if it's a good stopping point, to stop there. Yeah. And so, I kind of... We did, uh, up to delivery 30. Not including delivery 30. Not including delivery 30? Well, I'm wondering. The way you wrote it, it made it seem like I wasn't supposed to play delivery 30. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's pretty much. Okay. You can if you want. Okay. <laughs> so I, delivery 30 well, is Well, I didn't do a... it, so I don't know. Okay. Well, we won't. We just won't talk about it. Okay. Um, but I will say, before we start talking about Death Stranding, for anyone listening live as we record, or Sunday night, tonight, on the Patreon early release... Maybe we should put a post somewhere about this as well. Do yourself a favor. Go to Epic Games and download Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, because that's very much likely going to be the next game we do on Game Club. You yeah. can get it free right now. So make sure you go get it so you're ready to go. Yes. Next time. Okay? <laughs> very good. Very good. So we've just come across the boat. To Lake Knot City. Yes. What and was the name of the boat? Did they say the name of the boat? Oh, I don't know. It was the Fragile Express boat. Yeah. Maybe? I can't remember. Fragile's been inserting herself into our lives the whole time. Yes. So we saw her in the background when, when we were fighting Higgs. Yeah. She was a big help in the fight. She sure was. <laughs> well, she ran away. <laughs> well, we fought Higgs's tentacle thing or whatever. Yep, his squid beast from the nether depths. Yep. And uh, so we have to take the boat across to the new area. We don't even know where it's going. No. Before that, though, we talked about last time, we went around and did some stuff in the previous area or whatever. Well, I did some more oh, this time. Oh, okay. Because yep, like, yep. when I logged off last time, I would I told you about how I had killed a guy and I had to take his body to the incinerator. <laughs> yeah. So, I was still at the incinerator, so I was like, well, I'll go down to the uh, Capital Knot City, yeah. pick up some quests, and do them on the way mm -hmm. back to the Port Knot City. Mm -hmm. So, I went down there, and there was like, take something to this way station, and then take some stuff to the wind farm, and I was like, okay, well, I'll take them all, and then I get to the way station, and they're like, oh, you gotta go to the you know, the wind farm and do this delivery. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll take the delivery to the wind farm. Yeah, you're already going. I'm going, well, I didn't have to go that way to get to Port Knot, but I was like, I'll do it anyways. So as we're, I'm going there, I'm like, oh, there's BTs through here. But I was like, you know what? I'll ride my bike <laughs> through the forest. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it was not fine. <laughs> I thought I was avoiding all the BTs and everything because I didn't get off my bike. And yeah. the, the BB wasn't going too crazy. But all of a sudden, all the black hands come out of the ground and they pull me down <laughs> off the bike and they pull me out. And I guess because I was carrying so much stuff, I couldn't equip my grenades. Oh, yes. If they're not on your tool rack and they're buried in your stack, yeah. you can't equip them. Yeah. So I'm like, why won't I connect the... How can I equip these fucking grenades? So I instantly got killed by this technical yeah. thing. Caused a void out. It was far enough away from the wind farm that I did not destroy the wind farm. Well, but now, like, the forest is gone. <laughs> <laughs> this is a giant crater of where I destroyed near the wind farm. Yeah. But none of my stuff got destroyed or anything, so I just picked it all up and went to the wind farm, <laughs> delivered my stuff, and they're like, oh... Thanks, it all came through without a scratch. <laughs> and there's no, nothing like, hey, you caused a big explosion out there. I see you caused a void out. Yeah, there was nothing like that out there. <laughs> wow. So, it was interesting anyways. And then I went and took the boat, got on the boat. Yep. And we set sail to Lake Knot City. Mm -hmm. And once you get there, you're like, whoa, that was a big lake. Because <laughs> on the map, we crossed like a third of America. Yep. <laughs> 
So I'm thinking what it is is all the void oats in that area are all filled with water, I guess. Oh, well, could be. And that's what we were traveling along. Yeah, it does rain a lot. Well, I think it was so much holes that it probably drained like the Great Lakes and stuff into <laughs> them. It does still sort of show the Great Lakes on the map, though. Oh, does it? Yep. But, okay, anyways, there's, I mean... Everything's just kind of condensed. It's like, it's yeah. a condensed Oh, yeah, America. dude, because in this area, when I go down to the, like, the experimental farm or whatever it is, yep. it's like, wow, I traveled like a quarter of the way across <laughs> America. This is crazy. <laughs> so, um, it's whatever. Um, Fragile tries to have a heart-to-heart with Sam on the boat, but he falls asleep. Yep. So, he doesn't hear anything. Old sleepy Sam. Yep, exactly. But it's again, it's another like <sighs> Kojima has a lot of interesting ideas, mm-hmm. but his storytelling is like not good. No, because it's like we go across. Now we have to deal with these settlers or whatever. They're not. Yep. Are they settlers? What do they call yeah, them? survivalists? Survivalists or whatnot? They may or may not yeah. want to join the UCA. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna have to do a quest for them to get them to join the UCA. Yeah. Okay. All right. But then Fragile's like, they won't talk to you because they don't like bridges. But, you know, here's a Fragile bracelet. You can wear this and then you'll be working for me. Yep. And they'll like you or whatever. But, <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah. And then there's like a lot of people that be like, oh, you're working for Fragile, eh? Oh, I don't know about her. What? she's? I heard she's working with Higgs and they blew up a bomb and the city got blown up. And I'm just like, oh my god, obviously he tricked her into carrying a bomb into the city and she didn't know. Like, come on, seriously. Yeah. So, of course, we go through the whole chapter and people are like, ah, she's a terrorist. But, you know, I'll join with UCA anyways because you're a good guy and blah, blah, blah. And then we get to the point where she's like, oh, he tricked me into carrying a bomb into the city. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, yeah. She, I, I, she eventually tells you. She warps into your room while oh, you're yeah. sleeping and you wake up and she's just there. Yeah. And she's like, she gives you the ability to use her fast travel, fast travel to the beach. Yeah. But you don't get to carry anything with you. Just like what you have on you, basically your, your BB, your clothes yeah. and your bracelet and your necklace and all that shit. And there's, there's a whole sub story going on. Every time you go to sleep in your in yeah. your room, you wake up, plug BB in, and you get a flashback to what BB was seeing with Mads Mickelson and all that. You kind don't of have stuff. to plug him in; you just have to go to sleep. I just get him when I go to bed. I don't look at BB ever. No, no. When you when you wake back up and plug him in. Oh, I don't. No, they just happen when I'm laying in bed. Oh <laughs> yeah, they only wake up when happen when I. Uh, I wonder plug if that's BB back because in. of uh, I'm playing the director's cut or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah I, whenever I wake up and link back up with BB, I'd have a flashback. No, this will be I'll wake up in bed or whatever. He'll BB be like, BB, it's daddy. This is the moon. I will show yeah. you the moon one day. <laughs> I'm, I'm always like, God, I don't want to see this stub story because I just don't care right well, now. There's not enough happening yet. Well, and it's showed us nothing. I know. This is zero. Every time it's a flashback, it's like, BB, it's daddy. It's, we're going to do things. I'm going to get you out of there. You're going to grow up. Yeah. It's like, you've said this to me like 30 fucking times. <laughs> yeah. I've had enough of it. Shut yeah. up, Dad. I hate you. <laughs> so, so yeah. In this new area, there are these beacon things. And I was like, what are these things? I don't know what they are. I'm just going to ignore them. They require like thousands of materials. Oh, the like road yeah, constructors? And so I go do the deliveries to like mm-hmm. the first yeah. three basic things. And then all of a sudden roads appear. And I'm like, oh, because they're back on the use. They're back in the network. Yeah. So that area is back on. And now there's roads. Yeah. I'm like, oh, there's two roads. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, I like roads. Yeah. Roads are kind of like, kind of like uh, uh, conveyor belts. And I <laughs> yes, love conveyor that's true. Belts. That's true. So I'm like, oh, baby. Let's go. So I start building roads. Oh, really? And I built so many roads. Oh, really? And let me tell you, mm-hmm. roads, yeah. you get thousands of likes. Oh, per, really? Like every time I log in, just 10,000 likes. Oh, crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. So I've got roads built from uh, 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 Lake Knot City Lake to the other distribution center down yeah. and then a little bit past. Yeah. But they're getting so expensive. Like mm-hmm. two, two to four thousand ceramic, yeah, two yeah. to four thousand metal, and I'm like, oh my god! I know. So I've been farming the uh, mules now mm-hmm. to go and just grab all their resources. Yeah, <laughs> it's been difficult so, though. Yeah, I was gonna say. So like, we got to connect three. There's like a, an engineer, a craft create crafter creator, and an old timer. Yeah, the elder, the elder, and we have to like go add them to the UCA. 
if they'll join us. But if they won't, we can still join them in the chiral network. They yeah. just won't be part of the UCA. But they can still have whatever. I don't know. I didn't get it anyways. Yeah. And the first guy's like, yeah, I'll join. No problem. And then he gives you, like, your robot legs. Yep. Which was dope as fuck. Hell yeah. Because you don't... Uh, it's very rock in the area, and you don't yeah. get a vehicle to start in this little area. Yeah. So getting those robot legs, I was like, oh, God, thank you. But they don't seem to last very long, the power. I was always like, fuck, nope. I wish there was a charger. I, that's why you carry a PCS. Yeah. You just build your own charger. Yeah, I should have, but... Um, and then, you know, we do the things for them. We had to, like, go... The creator guy wants us to get his... his um tools mm-hmm. so we have to go like to this old shopping mall or something yeah I don't know. that has been voided out and there's all bts in there and shit so you have to sneak through there get the tools get back out or whatever i was throwing grenades like left and right in there dude. <laughs> yeah so fun but we also get he also teaches like hey i made this gun mm-hmm. like here you go check it out it's a like, wire gun bola. S- yeah the bola gun and i swear to god that they said that we could use our strands in it Yep. So we use it on BTs. Mm-hmm. But, like, I didn't see how to switch it to the BT strand. You just use it. Oh, what? Yeah. You don't, you don't need to worry about switching it. It just works on BTs. Oh. So it doesn't actually destroy the BT, but it bolas them up so they can't come and get you. So you can walk by them or yeah. what? Oh, okay. You can tickle their feet if you want. Okay, interesting. I'll have to try <laughs> that this time. But I did get the bola gun. So, and then after you do that, whatever, and you go to the, cr- the creator. I don't know if you did this quest. There's one. I think the creator says, like, hey, you should go get this old pen for the old timer. Because mm-hmm. he has, like, an old pen that he wants or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, well, he doesn't have enough likes to join the UCA. So maybe if I get him up, mm-hmm. he'll join, whatever. So I'm like, I'll go do this. And it ends up in mule territory. Yeah. And I sneak through. Oh, that's the other thing. I couldn't. How do you use the smoke decoy? I don't know. I couldn't... I dropped it and nothing happened. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. So I've maybe, never used it. Maybe they have to be chasing me and you drop it or something. Because I was like... I went into mule territory and it's like, oh, they're spotted you. So I'm like, perfect. I'll drop this thing. It'll distract them. No, they didn't give a fuck about it. Yeah. So maybe it was because I just dropped it and went away from it. Yeah, maybe they maybe. have to be chasing me and I like give them you know, a, tr- a treat mm-hmm. you know, and they'll stop on me. Anyway... <laughs> So I go all the way over to the base, right? And as I get there, the alarm goes off. Yeah. And the mules come out. And I'm like, well, I'll try out my gun, right? Mm-hmm. Bowl of gun. 14 shots. Yeah. So I'm bowling them all up. 14 guys. Whatever. I take everybody out. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I can loot the place now. They keep coming. <laughs> it's like never fucking ending. <laughs> I'm like, where are they hiding? Where are they coming from? I used my whole fucking gun and there was more guys. Ridiculous. That base has a lot of guys. I don't know if it's infinite or what, but it sure seemed like it. Well, the thing is that once you bolo a guy up, yeah, they'll get out. Oh no, these I didn't like. I didn't, no, this was not them getting up. This was like there was so many fucking guys. <laughs> and if you uh, if you let a free guy run around to a bolo guy, he will he will help him up. Oh, well, maybe that's what happened, but I don't know. Anyways, it sucked. And then it was like, okay, I finally get the pen. And I'm like, oh, there's a truck. I'll mm-hmm. fucking get the fuck out of here in the truck. <laughs> So I start driving the truck, and they immediately hit it with a spear. <laughs> so the truck stops working. So then I had to run all the way back to the fucking guy's base. Yeah. I have no juice in my legs. <laughs> I'm running on adrenaline. Sam's like, oh, I'm so tired. And I finally just get to the border, and they stop following me. And Sam, like, falls to the ground. Like, oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, I had that happen to me once as well. Just too tired. Oh, my God. So annoying. Yeah, I just was like, there's infinite guys over here. <laughs> I should have just killed one and had them void out, destroy the whole fucking mule camp. <laughs> but then you can't go back and claim their resources. So I've ne- I didn't claim any of their resources, but how are you doing that? So I, like, I've got a bunch of highway built past the mm-hmm. first three camps, right? Yeah. So you go in there, you grab a truck, mm-hmm. you, you load, you just, when you bolo the, uh, the yeah. mule down, you kick him while he's down. Okay. And that uh, renders him unconscious oh. so he can't get back up. So after you've boloed the entire camp, that mm-hmm. camp disappears. Oh, it's gone? Like there's no more mules and people can start doing deliveries to there again. Oh. It's not a mule camp anymore. Interesting. I just did that on my last last uh, day of playing, so I don't know if anything actually happened. Okay. But you grab the truck, you load it up with all your resources, yeah. and then you get back on the highway because yeah. once you're on the highway, you have infinite energy. Yeah. And so you can take the resources down. But... 
when you take it down to like the furthest place, you don't have a lot of link power. So yeah. you can't fabricate. You don't have as much material as you could have. So I have to drive all the way back to Lake Knot City to load up with materials, then drive all the way down to the, oh, the, yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the auto paver I'm working on. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, I'll have to take a look at that. I'll, also, in this chapter, I I figured out that you can turbo. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, man! Hit that turbo on the road. You just go. I had no idea. I was on the uh, <laughs> I was on the uh, bike, and I just was like, I'm you know, I'm used to running around and clicking it to run, and I mm-hmm. just accidentally did it on the bike. Like, I was like, oh, there's a turbo. <laughs> that would have been good to know a long time ago. So, if you did, you do multiple deliveries to the engineer. I'm yeah, because I got level two legs. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. also level three legs. Yeah, I haven't got that yet. <laughs> I was like. I didn't know how far I had to go to get to, like, the end point. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, I can't fuck around here too much. I got to go do, like, orders for Sam. Yeah. So I don't even know if I was... I think I was on my way to getting the 30... Delivery 30 or whatever it is. It's but, a little bit out of the way. Okay. Like, I went and I did do... I made my shelter. I went down to the experimental farm. Mm-hmm. And I was taking... I took the wheat down there. And as I go through the door... I'm like, oh, they have beer here. Like, as a joke or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, it is beer. Because <laughs> it was like, oh, it looks like a liquor store in here. Yeah. I was like, oh, it is a liquor store. <laughs> so I haven't, uh, there's uh, that mule encampment down mm-hmm. near the farm. It's mm-hmm. like right across the, the field yeah. from the farm, mm-hmm. which is crazy. But I haven't gotten the highway down there yet, so I haven't been able to loot them up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. getting the truck out of there is difficult. Because mm-hmm. we can't craft the truck yet. Mm-hmm. We can only steal the truck. I've got two parked outside of that southern oh, yeah. that distribution hub. <laughs> Just so I can use them. But they go so slow. Yeah. I can craft two trikes. Yes. The yeah. long range and the short range. Yeah, yeah. The, um, short, the long range doesn't go as fast. No, but it probably has more battery power. Definitely more battery, but... If, I mean, once you get the highways built, it's just like, yeah. you just go. It doesn't matter. Well, I went back to the other area just to see what it was like if you could build roads. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to do, too. I it, couldn't see anything uh, to build roads over there because I wanted to just see. So I teleported as fragile back there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was... Ugh, the mules were so annoying. <laughs> oh, my God. So annoying. I was trying to punch them out and stuff like that, so... I did I did one round of punching out before I got the bolo. <laughs> yeah. And then it was just like once I got that bolo gun, it's just like, no, you guys are done. There was one quest or quest to get the supercomputer or whatever. Yeah. We have to go into the mule camp and steal the supercomputer. That one I got in and out of no problem. Because mm-hmm. I snuck in. I mean the pulse went off to yep. spot me, but I just ran into some long grass and <laughs> whatever. Yeah. And I got through there. Oh, no, wait. They did spot me, but the truck drove up, and I just was like, yeah, that's my truck now, and then I drove away. <laughs> yeah. But did you did you unlock Counterpulse? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. And I also unlocked the, like, human scan or whatever they called it. I don't know what she called it. It'll let me see humans through walls and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I yeah, didn't yeah. have that one. Oh, yeah. She was like another oh. upgrade she gave me. Yeah, I did use the counter pulse once, and it. I was like, "Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be." Yeah, because I it says like time it to when they're pulsing or whatever, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to like watch to see when it's gonna hit me or whatever." No, as long as it's on the screen. Yeah, that's all that matters. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll have to go and take out those mule camps. I didn't realize. I wonder what'll happen in um, the other area if you take out the mule camp. Yeah, I don't know. It must be a new delivery spot. Yeah. Or maybe roads will unlock. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? I'll have to go back and see. But Yeah, uh, I haven't been back yet, so I don't know. But yeah, the story is like, again, who the fuck knows what's going on? And also, at the same time, like, okay, come on. Like, everyone is just filleting Sam all the time. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you know you're the best? Thanks for bringing this out here. You're the greatest of all time. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank yes. you. And yes, they also know. just won't shut the fuck up. No. And Die Hartman always comes on. Uh, and I'm like, oh, God, I don't care. Yeah. It's like, shut up, dude. Yeah. Skip, 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 skip. Yeah. I don't he, even care. He'll just say, like, the same thing four times. Yeah. You'll you'll do a delivery, and the guy will be like, yes. And then he'll switch to the other person and be like, yes. And he'll switch yeah. to Die Hartman and be like, great. Yeah. Shut up. I found a couple more memory chips. Mm-hmm. And when you unlock them, it just says, you've unlocked the memory chip Christine or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And he'll be like... Is this the movie, Christine? <laughs> and then I'll go in the menu and I'll be like, it is the movie, Christine. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. That's like, weird. I guess Kojima liked Christine or something like that. Probably. 
But it's like, I, yeah, geez, Louise, I don't know, <laughs> like, what's happening here? I do like the, um, the robot. No, robot delivery. Yeah. Yeah. That was interesting. And, I, like, on the Discord, you have the Death Stranding discussion thing. Yeah. And, like, your last post was like, oh, my God, the boots. <laughs> it's got boots. It's got boots. And I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> so as soon as the robot came out, I was like, oh, <laughs> He's wearing the boots. <laughs> He's wearing the boots. I get it. <laughs> yeah, my robot delivery is not too hot. It's like, oh, it arrived with 80% damage. <laughs> it's like, I got to fix these roads up, You got to get them roads up and running. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad you didn't, uh, we didn't link up so that your world is my world, too. Yeah. I mean, I can't because cool. I'm on PlayStation. Yeah. but Because uh, then you could have access to all my roads I yeah, built. Yeah, exactly. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? We also got the... Uh, Oh, yeah. The, the carrier. Yeah, yeah. That the was interesting. Too. Did you ride it like a skateboard? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I crashed. <laughs> I crashed. I was like, <laughs> when we were doing that thing, because they give you all the special alloys to make the yeah. base. And I like, I'm like, I don't know what I need all these special alloys for. I just put them in the locker and went outside. And they're like, oh, hey, while you're out there, we should build this base. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll go back and get my special <laughs> alloys, load it onto the carrier. They didn't give you the special alloys? Yeah, yeah, they did. Oh, but okay. I was like, what are all these special alloys for? Well, build the base. Yeah. <laughs> That's like when you build the first road. They're like, you got to build this road, and then you have like 800 pounds of cement on your back. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I can't carry this. Yeah. Yeah, I've gotten my stack on my back so high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that I can't even that, walk Was properly. that screenshot you took? Was that when you first go to Lake Knot City? Yeah, that's after I got the legs. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, because I, I loaded it. I stacked it up so high, and I was like, my oh, stack, my God. My stack looked like that at Lake Knot City. Yeah. Because on my <laughs> way up to, like, the distribution center, there were just boxes laying everywhere. Oh, I know. <laughs> so I just was like, on the back, on the back, on the back. It was so tall. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. The story is interesting, but also, like, just, oh, my God, really, why? Yeah. Did you, so since the last episode, I talked about uh -huh. uh, the cutscene, uh -huh. which happened, and I was like, oh, maybe Sam's adopted. Maybe that's not his family. Which cutscene was that? It Like, the cutscene over when you come over on the boat, uh -huh. there's a little bit of thing where Sam's on the beach yeah. as a kid, and I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe he's adopted. Why? What made him think, you think he's adopted? Just the way that uh, uh, the president, his mom, mm -hmm. talks to him. It's like, oh, here, do this, do this, whatever. Oh, it, I it thought just, that was it sounds his... like he might be adopted. Oh, okay. I thought it was more like it was a dream of him as a kid. Yeah. Well, that's definitely what it is, but but just the way it plays out, I'm like, oh, maybe he's adopted. Maybe that's why he mm, doesn't know all these things. That. I just thought it was because he was a kid, but I also thought it was implying that she was dead, on, stranded on the beach, because... When she sits next down to him, she or something something about someone being dead because when she sits down to him, he's like, "Oh, you're warm." Yeah. Like, oh, I thought expected you to be dead or something like that. Yeah. And then how like you have to leave. So let me show you the way back. I'll take you halfway, and then she dr drowns him in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there were a couple more cut. Another cut scene that happened where he's having that same kind of dream and it kind of. It feels to me like it's implying that okay. he is adopted. I'll have to keep an eye out for that, too, yeah. but I never really got that. I also liked how they showed how she got her necklace, the little beaded necklace thing she has. Mm -hmm. And she's like, look, he's like, oh, look, I brought this. And she's like, oh, it must have been very special because you brought it with you here. Yeah. Like implying it's hard to do mm -hmm. to get to the beach or whatever. And he's like, no, at first he goes, look at what I made. This is a necklace I made. Every time I make a friend, I put a knot in it. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, he made a necklace that has knots in it for when he gets a friend. She's like, oh, that must be very special. It's hard to get here. And he's like, yeah, I made it for you. And I was like, wait, you made a <laughs> friendship necklace about your friends and you're giving it to your mom? Yeah. But that kind of, is, is it his mom? Well, is she okay. just a friend? But he made the necklace every time he gets a friend, he puts yeah, a knot yeah. in it. And then he gives it away to her. <laughs> I was just like, come on, kid. Come on, kid. I know you put a lot of thought into this gift, but <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I'm loving building roads. I'm loving farming up resources, making nice roads across America. Yeah, and hands across I, America. Yeah, and I intend on doing more. Yeah, I, I remember played, I so, played every day last week. That's crazy. I remember before D Death Stranding came out, Mikey T was very much hyped, hype level maximum <laughs> for Death Stranding. Yeah, 
And then when it came out, because he used to be like, I'm just going to play it straight. It's going to be great. I'm, I'm ready for it. I can't wait. I can't wait. And then it came out, didn't buy it, nothing like that. We got it, played it for whatever, tried it out. Yeah. Eh, eh, no biggie. And now he's in it. <laughs> now I'm in it. Now yeah. he's in it. So he's ready for more. Indeed. Yeah, I'll have to try take out the mule base because they were fucking just really pissing me off. Yeah, I'm going to have to see once I log back in Many later you and see... Uh... I wonder wow. if I'll get any likes. I I'll built get, three I'll roads. get thousands. I built the first one, which you have no choice in doing. Yeah. And then I built the next one. And then there, there was another one at the end, I think. And I was like, oh, let me build this one. Mm-hmm. I've got the stuff. And it built a road like this long. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, oh. And then I started to drive to the end of it. I'm like, what the fuck was the point of this? <laughs> yeah. And then I can see off in the distance there's another road thing. So I walk over it to it's like, oh geez, it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, there's there's one there's a turn off to go to the that one guy's place. Mm-hmm. Like an intersection of the road. And I went to go try and build that one. It's like four thousand ceramic. I'm like, what? Yeah. You gotta save up your, your pennies. I know. Well I need uh you can do a call now to help people. Yes. But you can't do it for the roads, so I need to wait for other people to kind of, like, load that one up oh, yeah. that are in my server or whatever so that I can go in and finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy stuff anyways. I went from, like, 2,000 centigrams of Carilion mm-hmm. crystals to, like, 200. <laughs> Just oh, loading right. everything up. I have over 4,000, but... Uh... I just, I don't know. Whenever I see a big Kyrillium crystal, I'm like, well, I got to stop and get that one. Oh, yeah. I stop everywhere trying to get them. But because I got the legs now, it doesn't matter how much weight I'm carrying. Yeah. I can't I can't stack it high enough to to actually have my weight mm-hmm. uh, maxed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I can't reach all the way up to the top of my stack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and It's yeah. not like I can put anything on my hips now with the, yeah, that's with true. the legs on there. That's true. Yeah, I think I hit... Uh, I hit bridge link 50. Wow. Somewhere nice. around there, 40 or 50. It's pretty high. So where do those likes go? Are they... Oh, it's the bridge link? I think it's the bridge link. So okay. like whenever an NPC likes your stuff, you get more bridge link. Okay. But that doesn't but I don't really know. do anything for your dude in the game, I don't think. I don't think so, no. Yeah. That's too bad. It'd be nice if they went to the other like stats, you know? Yeah. Increase your amount you can carry and stuff like that. Increase your stack height. (laughs) We'll see how many likes I get when I log in. It seems a little weird on PlayStation where lots of people's names are unknown. Yeah. I get a couple unknowns, but mostly it's... It's a lot of names. Yeah, a lot of names, yeah. So... You just put... You just put signs all along the road because as soon as people drive into those signs, you get a like. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to do that, but then I was like, that's too much fucking work. (laughs) So I'm not going to bother. So, anyways, it's still uh, enjoyable. Yes, very enjoyable. We'll see how it ends up when it's all said and done. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you'll be uh, ready for Death Stranding too. Yeah. Yeah. Make it more roads. be on the moon. Oh, need more roads. <laughs> I'm actually, I, I was like playing the last time I played. I was like, oh man, I got I to gotta play some more Satisfactory. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I got to play more Satisfactory here. So you're going to? I might. We'll, well see. We'll see next, how time permits. I would say late wait because like the next satisfactory update is actually 1.0. Oh. Yeah. So okay. It's coming this year. This year. Yeah. Nice. So, hopefully I got enough time to get in there and play it. You'll make time. Oh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be so hard once the store opens. No, nah, you'll do it at work. Downtime. <laughs> Downtime at work. I mean, we are going to have streaming PCs and stuff there, so. There you go. Easy. Easy. Yep. Uh uh-huh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to bring us to the end of this podcast episode. If you like what you heard, and I know that you did, mm-hmm. make sure you leave us a rating. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you rate us, uh, you know, five stars. Yeah. Let us know how we're doing. Join the Discord down below. Join Game Club and uh, mm-hmm. just leave us some feedback, you know, yeah, hand gesturing said. like you can see me. <laughs> yeah. Gesture it up, baby. Gesturing it up. Uh, and, of course, patreon.com forward slash stream void pod to support this podcast with your hard earned dollar it is. Yeah. And with that being said, we will see you guys again in one week's time. Au revoir. Bye.